Hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here for show number 2,598 here on Twitch. We're taking on a very challenging ship to start today's stream. The Slug B starts with no medbay or clone bay and pretty weak weapon setup as well, but does have crew teleporter. So let's see how it goes. Before we get started here, get caught up with people here in chat and your wonderful support. So this is run number 44. That's the one. Feel free to throw out some name suggestions for this fine vessel. Going to grab some names for our starting crew right here, and then we'll be into it. Where was I? Walrix. Unworldly. And Phoenix Fire. Nice. What's up, Duo Maxwell? Hey there, Zeus, Elusive. Uh, what's up, Zeta Negi, Corello, uh, Dindy? Good Casa Nerd. Good to see you, Mestru, Emil. Yeah, this ship's complicated to start. I'll say that. It's definitely, definitely a complicated one. I wonder if we can do dashes and see. We can. Let's try this. The the Sluggo Cola. I like it. Let's go. If you're new to FTL, it's the roguelike game of space exploration. Our goal is to work our way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space on our way to a three-phase flagship fight. The lines within here will be the rebel fleet pursuing us, pushing us towards the exit and beyond. This ship is a crew teleporting ship with no med bay, no clone base. So one of our first priorities is to purchase either med bay or clone bay. We'll see how it goes. We do have Artemis missile and heal bomb. So heal bomb is the main way you heal on this ship. Not the most efficient healing, but you know, that's how it'd be. Let's go. This way, I think I'm just going to give up this jump and we're just going to climb up here. Yeah, climb up, come back down, over. Ooh, this is kind of weird. Alright, so we want to hit this on this side so we can go back this way. Um, not quite, Dindy, and you have, still have a chance to miss versus automated ships, so you don't really want to use heal bomb to board automated vessels. Alright, so... Do I need to use a missile here is a good question. I think so. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and do it. All right, so they're boarding with the Mantis. I'm just going to vent this Mantis. And I'm going to board into shields now. Teleporter's down, that's fine. Okay, he's coming back. O2 back on. Not yet. Yo, Jay Saber, thanks for 28 months. Just we're getting things started here. Much appreciation, man. All right, so we're just going to heal bomb here. Actually, how much health does this guy have? 86. Yeah, I'm going to heal bomb. I could try to not use a bomb there. Uh, problem with that being is if it's a nasty ship and we need to have that health. Just not take any chances with health early on. Alright, nearby sun. Here we go. Okay, we got double engineer here, so that's nice. Um, we're going to board right away into O2. 
And then I'm actually going to roll this guy down to shield. So this fires at 8 seconds, this fires at 12. And this should mean that the mini beam just barely clips us. Yeah, no, we got it back in time, actually. Uh, now their weapons are disjointed here, so I don't actually need to... Um, do anything else. We're good. Ooh, halberd beam. Okay, okay. That's a piece of equipment. Um, we're probably eating a solar flare here, so I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna wait to use heal bomb here until I see what's going on. Okay, so we got damage right here. Alright, we're good. I don't hear any more fire. It would be a shame to heal bomb there and then get hit with fire on the crew you just heal bombed, huh? Demand a surrender of their goods. Alright, so this one's tough. They do have two lasers, and uh, our crew's just not gonna do well here. I can't run three crew through this room. You can get more crew back when you do it that way. Let's go ahead and do this. Enemy FTL charging. Huh. And they have a combat drone. Wow. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're doing this. Gonna board with the second crew here. I gotta hit weapons, though. This could get really bad. Okay, teleporter going down. Shields going down. Miss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti. Okay, are we winning this fight, though? We will be after I use a heal bomb. Um, do I abandon to shields now? Hmm... Yo, Claudia99, thanks for 10 months. Appreciate that continued lurk. And Aaron Matthews, thanks for 42. We certainly can get you added to the Hall of Fame here in a little bit, Aaron Matthews. Thank you. Just debating the best play here. Well, first things, I need to have the heal bomb land. That's, uh, that's a must. Okay, I'm not going to teleport back over. I'm going to try to get shields back online. Going to be a stretch. Please hit. Thank you. Okay, we're good. Now we can swap back to here. Okay, shields are fully down. Okay, weapons are down too. Let's go get doors. I think we survive here. Yeah, we're gonna live. We close, but we live. Ooh, whole missile too. So the whole missile here basically pays for... Um, Pays for the damage we just took. I'm gonna vent the ship real quick, get all the fires out. Ooh, scary, scary ship. That that shield hit early on really um was tough. All right, now we're going to go repair this. Whole missile sells for 32, so that's basically two fight event rewards. Hey, nice Shidar, enjoy that. Yo, Dubs05, thanks for 16 months. Appreciate you keeping it damper.
All right, all right, still in the game. There's a store, darn. I really want to hit this store, but losing a jump is tough. Um, was Slug Repair Gel to sell? I, I mean, maybe I just should do it anyways, even though we lose a jump. I think I will. Buying Medbay or Clone Bay would be pretty big. Okay, is another halberd beam. Right, we're selling slug repair gel for 30. We're selling the whole missile for 32. Um, I might want to keep heal bomb for a minute. Okay, I'm going to buy Med Bay. I'm going to buy the repair to 23, and then we're saving for two shields. Now we can heal ourselves without using bombs, though, so our Artemis uh, can be used a lot more effectively. So in this type of situation, clone bay is preferred because um, clone bay can save you on certain events, right? It's good. Okay, this should hit. Good. Right, we're going to swap these crew around now. I do need to board with the third crew to make this work. Fine. Alright, so my crew's getting kind of low on health here, so I'm going to run around real quick, and then I'm going to board into shields. One crew going into shields here is going to pull uh, the one crew off, and then we can get a nice exchange. 5 fuel, 20 scrap, nice. Okay, 6 scrap away from 2 shields. Uh, not technically better, no, Wraith. Clone Bay protects versus certain events in FTL, but it's, uh, definitely not better for boarding, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five and a half. I'm gonna go here and then over, or here and then over and up. Prepare to fight. Okay, we got combat drone and ion. That is tough. That is tough. Please hit. Okay, good. Means I'm gonna say that means the ion's gonna go underneath. Still hit our shields though. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> All right. Just getting Halber Beam online right now would be pretty cool. Shields first, though, for sure. Alright, there's shields. 
going to go ahead and get two shields right now. Beautiful. Uh, we're not going to surrender. All right, they got human and engineer. That's pretty easy to deal with. Gonna board into engines here, and I am gonna hit their weapons, I think. Yeah, I don't wanna eat two missiles. Trade one missile to remove damage here. Good. Right, we're gonna swap these crew now. You're fine. We're gonna go up this way, I think. Um, I could even do this if I need to. Sounds good. I can also go one, two, three, four. Let me miss out on more jumps. Okay, right now it's 25 scrap to get Halberd online. I should probably do that because anytime we can not use um, missiles, that'd be good. So I guess saying that out loud, if we're going to use the halberd beam, we're probably boarding anyways, and I don't know if that really works with each other. Let's save our scrap for the next store. Aid the civilian ship. Alright, this one has a teleporter. So we're going to let the human board. We're going to board ourselves into the shield room can finish a two-on-one here yeah, that's definitely a Lado missile darn the doors went down it's all right There we go. Little crew training. Nice. Twenty-two and yo ho, welcome aboard, Ohm. How you doing? We're gonna get you a new name and uh you're part of the boarding party now. Awesome. Alright, what's your name here? Your name is Torpedo Bench. All right, cool. Now we're going to have a slug on piloting and engines, which is ideal, because we, then we cannot lose our evasion to mind control. Love it. Okay, so you are now engines. The extra damage on the Mantis goes a long way. Okay, well, there is a store here. So, I think I'm going to go one, two, three exits. What am I buying at this store? I don't really know. We can sell heal bombs, so we're kind of in range of hacking, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Yo, Proyalties, thanks for 10 months. Much appreciation. Okay, I can rescue the store. Uh, should be a guaranteed store next sector. Well, I mean, Chain Laser is okay, but I think buying other upgrades for the ship's more important. If I can just get hacking the Halberd Beam, kind of, it works for what we're doing. I think I'd rather have ship upgrades right now than that. Uh, also, with four crew, I am now willing to sell the Heal Bomb. 
gonna buy a small repair here. I'm gonna buy... I don't know, maybe I just save for the next store, huh? Certainly one power bar is not a bad idea. Alright, so on this one, for Missile Launcher, uh, I want the Mantis on you. One thing we can do here is we can uh, rock this ship back and forth. I'm not going to. I can move... Um, um, okay, yeah, there's going to be at least two more missiles fired if I don't do that. Well, it's not. Since the rock moves slower, we can move back and forth on the ship, uh, having the rock lag behind. But since it was an NG crew, there's no need to do that. Yo, Piper, congrats on that Zoltan Sea Victor. It's a very challenging ship. Nice work. Okay, I'll sell three drum parts for 12 scrap here. Um, scraps king in the early game. We're not currently using parts, so there's that. Okay, definitely NG controlled here over Zoltan controlled. Just thinking about store opportunities more than anything else. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy the weapon power, and then we're saving for the next store. But this way we can at least power the halberd beam, which in certain situations could save us upwards of four or five missiles. Ooh, yeah, that's the one right there. Heavy laser mark one. Okay, this is a piece um, to the puzzle. Hell, for one more weapon power, we can have heavy laser halberd beam, which is very strong. Let's see what stores tell us, though. Love finding a heavy laser for free. All right, let's attack the ship to get to the storage cache. They only have missile launcher, so I can fire one missile here and then swap to the halberd, or I can uh, just go to halberd now and cut across here. Since we only need one shield right now, I'm kind of tempted to go into halberd beam. Let's get you on weapons real quick. Actually, you'll get there faster. I think I'm gonna do this. A lot more efficient if it works this way. The problem is if this missile launcher hits my weapons, then it's not good. Am I going the right way here? I wanna hit weapons first. We're good. Having the system manned was very important. Hey, thank you, McFro. So, Halberd Beam is a 16 second charge, and uh, the Salado missile at 8 seconds, so the timing difference from having the system manned means we fired our Halberd before the second missile fired. Wow! Burst Laser Mark 3? I'll tell you what Burst Laser Mark III does. It sells for 47. It sells for 47, so that could be like half of this sector's scrap. Pretty amazing. Oh, in the right situation, it could even be um, usable here. But first... Let's rescue this store, huh? Alright, this ship has teleporting, but uh, if we hit them, we're totally good here. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to keep two shields on. I'm going to let them board. 
And then I'm gonna board into the weapons room, excuse me. All right, let's fight in this room, actually. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. That's fine, let's vent that. Actually, hold on. Let's close this off. Let's fight him. I don't even need to turn the med bay on. If I damage one of their weapons here, we are 100% set up. Good. He prioritized shields. That's a little silly. Alright, there we go. Get crouched. Five hull points repaired. Awesome. And wares? Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to make a decision at the store, but... For right now, let's get our crew back and healed up. Yo, Skyliner80, thanks for 50 months. Appreciate the half century. Thanks so much. I think I'm going to pick up Burst Laser 1 here and sell off Burst Laser 3. It's a pretty, pretty decent setup for this early point. Leave some good flexibility. Mm, there is another store right here. That's true. That's true. Now I'm going to buy the weapon that's in front of me because now we can have burst laser, heavy laser for the rest of this sector, which is pretty darn safe. Um... I think I'm going to take this store to see if hacking's being sold. And past that, I, I know what we need to do. We need to buy power. And then four, four power and weapons. Yeah, there's hacking. Uh, here's another burst laser. Uh, right now, it's going to be hacking, though. I'm going to take hacking. I'm going to buy four fuel. Okay, cool. Uh, I need power bars like crazy, but we're here. Not too bad. Oh, hey, there's a jump right behind the exit. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Terror Kittens, thanks for 10 awesome months. Much appreciation. Intruders on board. Okay, I don't currently have any parts. That's okay. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Uh... Hmm. I think I'm going to swap over to Artemis here so I have power, right? There we go. We're going to board into the engine room. And these guys are going to get bamboozled. Definitely eating a volley here. Okay, now we're not eating any more volleys. I'm right, just going to swap these crew real quick. Don't need two shields anymore. I like the emotes there, Terror Kittens. Nice. Rocket Snails, indeed. Wow! Defense Drone Mark II. That sells for 30 sip. The, the, not just the amount of drops, but also the quality of drops this run has been immense.
Alright, I'm buying a power bar because I know that's the right choice. Intruder on deck. Um, let's side with the fugitive here. What's up, Raffin? Right on, dude. Tell you what, Raffin. Time to prove your metal. Hell yeah, system repair drone. Lots of good stuff happening. All right, Rafa needs a new name. That name is going to be Hobbs. Maybe weapons guy now. Double mana sporting party is good. I'm gonna go here first. Uh, it gives me the most options before the exit, at least as far as seeing beacons. Someone wanna sell to me? Okay, they do. That's, uh, well, it's not the store we were hoping for, and that's fine. Ooh, there is one right here. Okay. Let's see how much scrap we have after we sell this stuff off. We have 77. I think I'm actually not going to go to that other store. I'm just going to try to get more scrap out of the sector, because... I have lots of stuff I want to buy and functional upgrades to get. I'm just going to go one, two, three here. Yeah. All right, let's get three engines, power bar. actually think going um, one more into weapons looks pretty good because then I can have burst laser one heavy laser one Artemis with hacking bare minimum power but pretty good nonetheless Hoping to get through the next sector, not having to use much hacking, so I can swap to halberd beam hacking later. This Artemis helps out a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I think this is a, a good play. We can, we can do heavy laser halberd beam now, or we can do this. And this is a very nice system versus two shields. Not the best I've ever seen, but it's uh, adequate. Search for the ship. Okay, we found it. Good. Double fleet pursuit there would have been pretty gnarly. Investigate. Free stuff. Nice, man. Must be an NG sector. Gotta be. What's your specialty? Door to subsystem. I'm good, man. I'm good. Thanks for the offer. Looks like we're going Uncharted Nebula, then. All right. Ooh, nice-looking Nebula, in fact. Very nice. Okay, Fire Drone Ion. Hmm. Okay, they also have mini beam going on here. How do we pull this off?
I could just deal with the fire momentarily and get a full volley off on their weapons. I think I might actually do that. Let's try this, actually. Oh, okay. They brought a combat drone online. Um, we also have uh, ions coming out, so I'm going to shield toggle real quick. Um, move you down to shields. I'm going to swap to the Artemis missile and bring two shields online. Okay, there's fire in here. Got him. I think we just have to do this. It's just how it is. Okay, combat drones down. That means we can free this power back up. Um. You know what? It's three more missile hits, and it's a lot safer this way. Could have used uh, maybe two less missiles here, but it was an easy solution. Lock on. Boom. What's up, Jack? All right. Jack can be the shield guy. Jack also needs a new name. Numino. Great. Um. Okay, this does not connect over, noted. Hey, you as well, McCassie Broad. Thanks for being here. Okay. Okay, they only have one laser online right now. Um All right, I'm going to Artemis their med bay. I think that's going to be the best way. Is it? Yeah, all right. I'm going to keep this safe. I'm going to Artemis the med bay, then I'm going to board onto the med bay. Hacking med bay is also very much a possibility here. But with the minimal power in the ion storm, got to kind of roll with it. Probably sending in a second border to shields here, too. I'm gonna let my O2 stabilize after this. Firebomb! Okay, it just keeps giving stuff. More stuff, please. Yeah, we are choosing names from the uh, Patreon list. Let's post that right here. Uh, if you support the Patreon at the $25 tier or above, even one time, you do get added to a semi-permanent name and game list. Ooh, 
where is my stores? Um... Okay, let's go ahead and attack the ship. Okay, another one that has a med bay here, and they also have some pretty nice weapons. We're certainly not, like, getting out of using missiles here, are we? Okay, they boarded there. Let's defend. Let's go ahead and board into the shield room. I'm going to go into the door room now. With nobody on piloting, this should work, right? It did. Alright, it's gonna let that damage go. Alright, two hacking halberd beam would be really good. I just, I want to see the next store. Show me the next store. Intruders on board. Okay, well. Okay, I'm actually going to swap these two crew. The slug and the mantis. Um, because I want the mana switch hitch much harder hitting a random target. This will clean up the margins on all of the fights and make sure one crew dies faster so we can get a even larger crew advantage. There's the store. Now, do I take more jumps here? Also, have I left myself enough jumps? Looks like we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're good. I'm going to take as many of these as I can before the store. So that's one, two, three, four. Then we can go five, six. So three more jumps before the store. We'll be making a, um, a decision on how to spend all this scrap. My thought is if we can get cloaking, uh, that'd actually be better than the other functional upgrades, but that's a stretch. Alright, on this one we need to disable weapons. There's no getting around that. I might even use a hacking part here to guarantee that. Hmm... Oh, I gotta tread lightly on this fight. They don't have med bays, so if I can get the second set of borders in, we've won the fight, but them having two manas worries me. If I board into engines, it's probably Mantis and NG versus two Mantis is very reasonable. Still leaves pilot, though. Hmm. All right, I'm going to hold off on the hack. I think I can get away without it. 
Okay, for whatever reason they decided there. Can I get the... Can I get the... Uh, yes, I can. Okay, there we go. Um, That's not quite it now, is it? Go here. Good. Okay, we're good now. Now we're going to do a little uh, Benny Hill theme here. We're just going to run around their ship. Go wild. And then when we can board, we're going to get a four on three in here. There we go. Very nice. Okay, as soon as this crew dies, I'm going to swap the human over to the Manus to tank it up. Looks good. Looks great. Nice. Glad we were able to save our part there. If we are going to go into Halberd Beam late game, we're going to want as much action on hacking parts as possible. Because we will run into a point here pretty soon with this type of weapon setup where the Halberd Beam is a requirement and I need hacking to make it sing. For the moment, though, we do have 20 missiles, so we're still in an okay spot. All right, what kind of what kind of hacking they got going on? Okay, so they hacked our hacking. If I disable either weapon here, we're safe, but this thing will hit us if these both fire. Okay. Ooh, didn't work. Yikes. Please disable that. It's not. All right, Halberd's going to hit here. That was a very friendly hit, only two damage. Also, our shield's back online, so we're in the clear here. Yeah, the only ways you really lose your crew boarding is if um, the enemy ship jumps away with them on board, or if they die in combat. Those are the two. Man, this hacking location really um, messes up our ability to do stuff on our ship. One more jump before the store here. Looking good. It's like we're getting exactly enough to go to the exit, too. Beautiful. I accidentally passed really well through this sector. Alright, they're mind-controlling the Mantis there. Gonna let them have that one for a minute. Yeah, it's definitely a Lato missile. Fire in here, then. Is there a breach? Hmm. Oh, 
All right, holding on to more scrap than I rightfully should, but here we go. We saved up for a store. Black one is certainly something I can work with here. Okay. Uh, fire bombs out. I kind of like keeping the Artemis around because maybe even scrap recovery arm. I like keeping the Artemis around because it's two very quick damage and we got 20 missiles, right? So, uh, I might even sell Halberd Beam here. Because if I can have Flak Burst Laser 1 Heavy Laser, that's six very fast firing projectiles. Uh, it keeps us from having to upgrade hacking any further, too. And should disable most weapon setups for the next sector or two. Uh, my other option would be to throw the halberd into the hold and then buy flak for more options. Yeah, I'm thinking the scrap recovery arm actually looks really good right here. Also thinking that there might be a store at this. How much for a weapon's 50? Okay. Okay. I think the problem with keeping the halberd right now is that... It's not going to get online for two and a half, maybe three sectors. Oh, I know I'm buying this. That's happening. Black Heavy Laser Artemis is a lot of damage. Maybe I don't have to even upgrade weapons right now. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and buy the fuel, too. Sounds good. And you know what? I am going to buy Scrap Recovery Arm. Um, I often say, or every time I buy Scrap Recovery Arm, I say on uh, Hard Mode FTL, it's just not the right choice to buy Scrap Recovery Arm, but... is like the perfect time to to p power it up. Thirty two does let us buy power. No drone parts yet. Uh, it'd be nice to have a few more drone parts, but we're not reliant on them at the moment. I don't want to quite give up on the the halberd yet. It's a lot of scrap right now, and I need to spend on my ship. Hmm. Damn. So I need like four power right now. Actually a little bit more. So that's um, 100 scrap. What would I buy at the store instead of the halberd? All right, this is just too far away. It's too too far into the future. I'm going to buy one power bar right now, and then I'm going to see if there's a store here. And if there's not, I'm just going to buy more power. Prepare to chase them. Fleet pursuit doubled. Darn it. Still don't actually lose anything here. 
Okay, it's not a store. Uh, I have no reason not to die. There's no anti-ship battery there. Could be kind of a nasty ship, but... Uh, not too worried about that. Will be a three-shielder. I can do four damage to weapons with. Whether I upgrade weapons right now or not, I do the same amount of damage. So let's just go ahead and buy uh, multiple power bars here. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm going to sell uh, 15 missiles for 45 scrap here, and then I'm going to get the burst laser online shortly. I don't like giving up most of my missile resource, but we're trading something that has a non-scrap value for 45 scrap. That's a lot. does make the fact that we sold the halberd a little bit more scary, but for the moment is good. Okay. Basically paid for our weapon upgrade. All right, this is Flak 2 Vulcan. Wow. That is a setup. Should be fine here. Okay, we're going to hack engines. Okay, flax still up. That's a little spoopy. Oh, it didn't hit. Okay. That's fine. Okay, we'll be able to uh, get out of here before it fires again. Actually, planning on getting a crew kill here, but I can see that's just not going to happen. Okay, they fired again, so we're just leaving. NG homeworlds or civilian sector? I'm going to take NG homeworlds here, though we do not currently have an engineer. Still seems good. All right. Two back on. Immediate store must be an NG sector. We'll see what happens on these jumps. It's gonna be at least three stores in this sector, so we can afford to skip one for sure. Now we can afford not to get any stores this sector and just upgrade our ship. That's fine too. I can't believe this is happening again. I got two sleepy kitties right now. Two sleepy kitties. Two sleepy, two kitties. Yeah, I know, Daisy. It's tough when you got a dad. I know. Tough. Tough day for baby kitties. Oh, gotta ignore that. Thinking I'm probably skipping this first door. Secure it. Boom. Ion intruder drone. Hold up. Okay, maybe I'm not then. I would like fuel. Five, five, and five. Keeping it even, Stevens. Alright, let's sell ion intruder. Let's buy four fuel. Let's buy two repair. Gonna buy one power bar. Okay, feeling good. Let's 
Search for the ship. Five damage to the hull. Okay, that happened. Bumpy start to the NG homeworlds. Hell yeah, free stuff, man. This is like free stuff, the run. Okay, I'm gonna go... Uh, well, hold up. This one's not over the line. Probably diving here. So I could go one, two, three, four, uh, five, six. No, it doesn't work. I need to go one, if I'm going to take this door, which I might not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dive. Okay, let's do that. Yo, Mighty Moss, thanks for 29 months. Thank you. All right, forward scout of the rebel fleet will be trying to get away from us. Uh, that's not cool. They also have defense too, which is difficult, but we can still hit Columbia here. I'm going to have to use a hacking part as well. So I'm going to board into shields. I'm going to hack on engines. Okay, they fired. I'm going to depower, repower. Okay, good. Okay, he's gonna rotate into shields now, indeed. Okay, do we have this finished? What? They have a system repair drone? Oh, no. Okay, we're gonna go in here, then. Good. Ooh, that's too close. Dang, Mighty Moss. Has it really been 29 months? Where's the time go, dude? Mmm, Heavy Laser 2 is, like, so good. But we've already spent so much on other stuff. Heavy Laser 2 can win us the game right now, though. That's a fact. Does not improve the weapon system functionally right now, though. Very, uh, very similar to the, the Halberd Beam. We gotta get it online right now to have it be better. It's tough. We got one, two, three, four, five, six jumps before the end here. Go ahead and buy all the fuel because I need to. Let's go ahead and repair to 23. So right now, Heavy Laser 2 is the same damage that this system is if I just plug it in right now. Uh, we could sell the Artemis now. We are only at six missiles. It seems unlikely I'm going to get this online. Still a lot of meat left in this sector, though. All right, I'm going to sell this. I'm going to buy the Heavy Laser 2. Because now for a one more weapon power, we can get something good happening. And we do not have to spend any more period on weapons uh, or anything else. Just it's all it's all sorted from here. Just got to it's got to get there. Okay. I think we're still definitely in range to get three shields here by the end of the sector, too. Just need a couple of events. We're going to attack the pirate for sure.
Okay, they're going to board there. I'm going to collapse on that, and then I'm going to board into the shield room. Actually, I'm going to board into the weapons room. The reason I'm boarding weapons here is they're going to run to the med bay really fast. I'm going to make sure they die. Okay, they also fired their missile. That's tough. It's hitting right there. Fair enough. Uh, Prey jumped away. That's reasonable. Really just one a decent reward away from having three shields now. Maybe I actually want to include the exit here. I do. Let's include the exit right now. We can get all four of these and come back. Exits guarantee good or neutral events, so much higher chance of getting scrap here than some empty beacon. Did we finally run into a ship that can't damage us here? Depends on what this is. Okay, small bomb I'm not too worried about. I'm actually going to let the their small bomb run out. Actually, no. If I'm going to do weapon training, we want to do these. Oops. I goofed. Uh, scrap recovery does not include that, no. So, the recovery will show the number below your scrap, but will not appear otherwise. Or does not appear in the number that's shown on the event text, rather. Okay. Um, once he finishes the repair, I'm going to do burst laser, heavy laser in there. Hacking going down is fine. There we go. Yo, Scrotus the Cat. Thanks for 12 wonderful months. Much appreciation. Thank you. Shields is really the only bad place to be hit by the small bomb, and they only have 9 to 12 bombs somewhere in there. Okay, weapons is fine. Guess we auto fire the flak now then. Yo, cheers to that, Scrotus. It's been uh, certainly been a pretty wild uh, year and a half since this whole thing began. I've personally been in self-isolation uh, since March of last year. We all made an agreement as a family that everybody be vaccinated before we resumed our activities. Still waiting on my daughter. No, uh... No sweat there. I'm very grateful I've been able to work from home and uh, still curate this experience during the pandemic. Thanks for being a part of it. Yo, Grayson, thanks for 18 months. Indeed you are. Really just worried about the weapon training here more than the even piloting. Like, the faster firing... This weapon system, once I get it powered up, when we fire it, the enemy systems go down. So, uh, the faster we fire, the better. Training on this system is the difference between firing our weapons first versus firing our weapons at the same time.
Yo's with you. And thanks for 44 months. Four more for four years. Thank you. Who's not damaged here? Who dodged it? This guy didn't get damaged. Nice. Good work. All right, we're like three quarters there on weapons. No time at all now. I think this would be an excellent time to take a look at this kitty toe bean again. It's right there. It's just hanging out. Boop. It had to be done. Get boopsened. get these guys healed because we are going to board this ship. Big time. Yeah, just going for weapon training here. About halfway on piloting engines and warden adequate. Let's go back here. Shouldn't have anti personnel here. This is five power and drones already. I'd be very surprised if they had that. So close. All right, two two more volleys, then we'll swap to our normal, so we can finish our training on the last one. All right, one more heavy laser, then. All right, I'm just gonna board into weapons here. And when they try to go to the med bay, I'm going to fire at it. If it doesn't work, I can always reset it. Uh, no need for a hacking part or anything here. It seems excessive. I want one crew to leave to the med bay, though, so that the other crew uh, comes off the piloting. Oops, all dead. That went really well. Yo, that gent. Eric, thanks so much for 100 bits. Appreciate that kind message as well. Thank you. That's a little bit spoopy. Try not using a hacking part here, though. Okay, if the small bomb hits the shields, that could be scary, right? But if we damage either of their weapons, we're totally safe here. That'll work.
I'm gonna go for piloting next. Okay, we missed. Now they're gonna cloak. Very nice. Alright, Walrix and Unworldly need a little heal here. Hey, look at that. We have enough to buy three shields. That's nice. I think I'm going to take a uh, couple more jumps looking for a back end store here, but if that doesn't exist, three shields looks mighty good. Mighty good indeed. Got two more jumps and then I'm gonna probably spend. God, I love that spinning Winston emote, so good. I'm um, by three for six here, that sounds good. Nice deal, dude. Investigate the battlefield. Okay, no double flea pursuit. I probably shouldn't have done that. What's your offer? Okay, I accept. So my goal is to not kill the crew of this ship. That's my goal. Uh, I am going to go ahead and hack here because I don't want this missile to fire. If we board and kill here, we don't get a free weapon look. I'm going to let him live. Okay, Pegasus Missile sells for 32 as well. So we just got a 64 scrap evaluation from that event. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and buy uh, three shields now. Let's actually think about that for a second. I could go to four or five engines as well, but... I think for after this dive, the shields are much better. So let's buy the shields and the power for them so we can keep our three engines loaded. All right. As long as we don't lose on this event, that Pegasus missile makes up for whatever cost was happening, whatever cost we incurred. All right. Um, thought is maybe not hacking here could be okay. Might even be best not to hack. I have a feeling if I hack and I hit for four damage, it's going to take down exactly the Vulcan and then leave the missile launcher online. But if I get some sort of chip damage, I can probably make that difference. Maybe take this down and then take down the Vulcan on the second volley. Guess we're about to find out. It's a gamble here. Okay, well, Vulcan went down. Um, is that fire in the room? No. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to hack weapons. I'm a little scared right now. Big missile. Ouch. Please don't kill my mantis, thanks. Okay, our weapons just got slammed. That's, uh, that's certainly a thing that can happen. Okay, that needs to get repaired right away. Whoa, dude, no. No, no. Okay, we are going to get out of here before the next ASB. Okay, that was a painful dive, but not, um, not the end of our run.
For what we got for diving there, it was 100% worth it. Hey there, Vandalay. Okay, um, there's a store which I probably should go to. I don't really want to hit the store with nothing to buy, though. Take this jump first. Might even go back over here. All right, that's quite the uh, quite the launcher there. See if the shields go down here or not. Hmm, not looking good. It's fine. Crew's gonna leave piloting now. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the um, the hit on Lone Bay here. That'll do it. That's not firing again. Refuel, 45 scrap. Good haul, good haul. Alright, so I think I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we'll be on this side of the map. But I want to hit this store with enough scrap to buy something after repairing. So I need at least one more scrap gain. Yep, that's it. Intruder on deck. We're going to agree to offer up the manas this time. The scrap a doodle sounds pretty good. And I already got two manas to board with. Um, We're going to board the station. Uh, we're going to save the NG. Okay, NG, I'd like to save the drone schematic there, but the truth is that an NG inside the NG sector has increased value for getting blue options and could just get us more scrap later in this sector quite easily. Barrel King. The King of Barrels. Okay. What if instead of taking this store now, I go one, two, three, and then hit this one? I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Then we can maybe buy repair and cloaking. But hitting this store doesn't give us any increased value, I don't think. What can be at this store that I'm going to buy? Uh, just getting another weapon power or two is a very strong play right now as well. Hey, what's up, Casually? There could very easily be a third store back here, too. I'm going to skip this store. I don't want to, but I think it's right. Respond to the call. Move in and assist. All right, that is um, Quadruple Mantis, my man. The Requadning. I'm going to see what our first volley does. If we just hit him here, they can't really do much. That'll do it. Seems like fire's in there, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fire is good, because now I can hit their med bay, um, and then reboard them. All right, so they got... 
they got the fire out. But they're definitely damaged, so we're going to win this. Oh, no, the fire's still in here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, The problem is they're going to leave the room. Oh, God. Okay, they're still trying to put out the fire. Good. All right, we're going to board in these shields then. Oh, okay, never mind. Attempt to contact the NG. Fuel is a reward. Cool. I like fuel. I like fuel a lot. Yo, Lazed1. Welcome to the Damper. Thanks for making it official with Prime, dude. Thank you. Hey, enjoy that lurk, Zephyrnaut. Enjoy it. No med bay, no clone bay, and a ship that can't damage it. Is my birth mess right now? I'm going to drop my uh, engines here. Actually, hold on. I'm going to sneak the last of this training. I'm going to board in with our Mantis, and then I'm going to run around and teleport him back. We're just going to sneak a little training. Just a little sneaky sneak. We're not going to win versus four crew. Two crew twice, though. Got that all day. So we just need three dodges on this guy. Not bad, not bad. Not going to go for full shield training here, but I could. Just want that last bit of dodge, please. There it is. Back to the feast. Six fuel, 45 scrap. Okay. What we got here? Woo dog. All righty. That's some stuff. Right, we're going to sell Pegasus. Debating if the flak is a trap here or not. Long range scanner is looking real good. Ooh, there's another store right away. Okay. If I'm purchasing flak here, I'm dropping heavy laser too. That's tough. But Flak Flak Burst Laser 1, Heavy Laser 1 is a cheaper end setup. So I guess the difference in cost between uh, Flak and Heavy Laser as far as getting them online is significant because it's 100 scrap at the end of the line. So... I could sell this right now and then pick up flak to a very efficient laser setup. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, it's going to be cheaper in the end to do it this way. So we're going to do this. I'm going to jump to the next store to see if we have uh, cloaking there. For now, that gives us one more projectile, taking us from 6 to 7. We can load this up for more pinpoint, and we are 165 away from having a 9 projectile set up at 10 seconds. It's definitely good enough to win. Okay, I'm actually going to buy a little repair here. And then we're going to take uh, this next jump before the store. I would say I buy Burst Laser 2 less than half of the time when I see it. It's always a temptation, but it's rarely the correct choice. Eighty scraps, a lot of scrap. Ooh, the misses. Okay. Like we're eating a missile. That's fine. Okay, he's putting out fires. Well, there won't be a second missile after that, at least. That's nice. Just the one. There's definitely times when buying Burst Laser 2 is correct, but trading 80 scrap for only one more projectile? I don't think so. Not in my experience. Yo, Captain Morgana, thank you so much for making it official with Prime. Appreciate that really kind message, too. Thanks for taking the time to type that out. Glad we all had this place to hang out, relax for a few hours, and enjoy a video game in the company of each other. Feels nice, man. No place quite like it online. Just so glad to have this experience still. Okay, there's cloaking. Awesome. I might as well buy backup battery here too and repair. I think that's uh, that's the play. Awesome, exact scrap. Okay, feeling pretty good right now. Get some engines and they're 165 scrap for uh. For weapons, and we're singing. Having access to Cloak is very big, too. With one more engine, we can get to 100% dodge on Cloak. And uh, being able to dodge the enemy's first volley is pretty huge. Another fight where it's tempting to use a hacking part, but not correct. Right. That'll do it. Nothing useful there, fair enough. O2 for 16. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, this is very early to be purchasing oxygen, but it saves us scrap in the long term. Ooh, Zoltan Homeworlds. Well, I mean, I love Zoltan Shield, but...
Okay, interesting. These jumps are inaccessible. Hmm. Looks like we're going to be going up here and then cutting back this way. Okay, this one actually connects, so we can go over, up, back this way, and then we'll cut back over here. gonna hack yet. But I might be hacking now. Hmm, I want this or this? I want this right now. I think, unfortunately, it's probably going to be just their weapons online. Or just the missile online, rather. Yeah, okay, we got a breach at least, so if we disable this, it's down permanently. That's good. That is a hefty hack. No more weapons. Yeah, there's definitely a chance to get nothing uh, OWC for if take the blue option there. I don't know if it would do a roll on the blue option or if the roll was determined before the event, though. Honestly, don't know on that one. You just generally don't take the blue option on those automated ships because you're skipping the ship fight, which is guaranteed scrap. Oh, yes, I got backup battery. Let's go ahead and do one engine power. This way we get to 40% dodge and 100% dodge under our cloak. Okay. Gonna use a hacking part here too. Double missile is not a small deal. We can disable weapons. I can probably get a crew kill here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, nice. And we got breaches. It's very good. When they go back, I'm gonna hit their uh, I'm gonna hit their med bay. Kind of losing that fight, sir. Okay, medbay is still active, unfortunately. I'm gonna board shields real quick. This is not with our mana borders, but that's how we gotta do it. Nobody's on piloting now, that's good. Nice. Yo, Valkyran, thanks so much for 90 months. Appreciate that kind message, too. That is a heck of a number indeed. Just 10 more for that 100 club. Thank you. There definitely is a temptation to continue chasing uh, fights here, but I need to make sure we're getting enough out of this sector, so we're going to cut back. 
Dude, part four. Sorry for missing you earlier there. Thanks for 50 months and Sanctus, thanks for 80. As always, if I'm ever late to or miss your notification, do sincerely apologize. Got a terrible case of that humanitis myself. Thank you. Also, as part of our No Frills format, which is no pop-ups, alerts, or sponsored gameplay, I do not have alerts and stuff playing in my ears, so thanks for your patience, as it may take me slightly longer to get to your notification. Hey, my demise. Thanks for 18 months. One and a half years. Hell yeah. I'm just gonna do this here. This looks good. Well... How many jumps? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jumps before the exit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got plenty of room. I think I'm going to take this line right here, though. We take these four and then we'll cut over here. We're going to miss out on some portion of the jumps. We can see a lot of scrap. Alright, should not need to use a hack bar here. Uh, ASD, the main advantage of hacking engines over piloting is that if the enemy ship tries to start charging its FTL, they're not locked in their own piloting room. That's the long and short of it. They got the jukes. There we go. I'm really thinking here just getting weapons online seems very desirable. I like our setup right now, but it'd be a lot cooler with two more projectiles. There's 191. I'm just going to do this right now. Let's go. Seems like something I would delay continually if I don't buy it. Just knowing myself. It's a nice deal, but only seven parts. So I'm going to ignore that. All right. There is a store up here. Interesting. I think I'm probably going to be skipping that store. Do I have anything to sell? Sure you can, Geeky. We also have a Isaac Repentance channel in the Discord um, if you're looking for a wider sample size. Alright, this ship is really tough to board with the Quad Zoltan. I'm just going to go for a straight up kill here. I'm going to take that back. Yeah, we're just going to kill this one. I mean, can't promise I'll always answer, but cross-game questions are perfectly fine. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I mostly stick to commentary about uh, gameplay. It's definitely very intentional, but if you have questions about any of the games we play, it's uh, always welcome in the live chat. What if I go like one, two, three, four, five, six, dive? Hmm. 
Let's think about that. Let's go down here. I might still hit this door. Yeah, that too, Nighthawks. Certainly somebody in chat will probably know. I think uh, one thing our community prides itself on is answering questions for each other and uh, helping each other improve at games. Um, let's go ahead and have Rockman. Let's do Rockman here. Uh, one of my only real suggestion for the home floor uh, to answer your question, Geeky, is I would, um, when you start the dogma fight, uh, hold left on your controller or keyboard because then he will not run into you at the start of the fight. Also, moving around the room in a circle when he does the spinning pattern on phase two, I think, is the cleanest way to do it. Okay, that's down now. It should be fire in this room. Yeah, there is fire. I'm going to wait till they put out the fires, then I'm going to board their shields. They will definitely try to defend shields over finishing that repair. We got three double hits on this guy. That's going to be enough to clean up the margins of this fight. Really, a fully trained mana should win versus a rock. There's a chance they don't. So if we get a two-on-one at any point, we're good. We good. 39 and... When he sees you've emerged victorious, the Zoltan wise man enters a rage. Rifts threaten to tear space apart until, instead, the Zoltan implodes, sending a blast wave of scrap and salvage dragged here from distant worlds in your direction. Nice. Oh man, really? Okay. I can technically get two stores right now, I just don't know what I'm buying. Other than a repair, not much. I think we're going to hit it anyways. There's no fight showing. See what's here. We can we can make a pathing choice after this store. Okay. Yeah, that's all. That's all stuff. Let's buy three repairs here. Uh, nothing to sell. There's still no ship fight showing. That's kind of weird. That does not connect down. I think we just start buying ship upgrades rather than fish that store. So let's go like one, two, three, four here. So I'm going to buy level two backup battery for starters. That way we can have all our stuff powered. Cool. Let's go ahead and go engine and power bar. Nice. Definitely want to include the exit here in the dive if we're going to do it. I think we will because we're set up to. Okay, intruders on board. Mantis and rock? That is very rude, okay? Very rude. Alright, on this particular ship, I am going to... Hack engines. I'm going to destroy their weapons. Didn't want this firing, right? Okay, we don't need this now. Okay, well, those guys are dead. Good. Okay, there is fire going on here, too. Okay, they're going to cloak now. And then after the next one, I'm going to hit their med bay. Oh, their weapons went completely down. Awesome. 
Okay, my sh shields currently have fakey bakey power. Let's just fix that. All right, they're not going to get the missile launcher back on in time here. There we go. Let's just do this. Okay, there's that. Now we're going to board into weapons. Even if he finishes this repair, which he's not going to, we're so good here. Okay, they got damaged by the fire. Now I can move to the shield room. We need to swap these crew. So the higher health one is fighting the rock. Very nice. 51, an anti-ship fire drone. Rockin'. Like we made a good choice on the pathing. Okay, let's go. Let's go six engines power bar. So with fully trained uh, pilot and engines, which we have in six engines, we should be able to get out before an ASB fires on a dive. Six is also the last engine upgrade that provides a 5% evasion bonus. So it's the last of the effective uh, upgrades. Only one run so far today, Earl Grey, but going good. I don't I don't need that. Five borders though. Hey man, here's the thing, buds. Here's the thing. Oh, you're right. The sixth engine is 3% evasion. Thank you. Yo, thanks for joining the Discord, uh, Captain Morgana. You've got a really uh, great group of people on the Discord. I'm always peeping the uh, Pet Pictures uh, channel on the Discord. Garden stuff, too. Okay. Ah, uh, nah. Okay, there is a fight back here, so I'm definitely going to take it. Okay, they don't have very much hull. Should be able to get a crew kill here, though. I mean, so we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna board now. I gotta be careful though, because um, Zoltans explode for 15 crew ride damage when they die. So. We are not very careful. We, we will lose the manis to this event. Gotta be be careful. Do you think if four Zoltans explode, that's 60 crew damage? 60. Too much. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to board into shields with my other set of crew that have health. So cool.
Okay, I would like... Even 7 engine here doesn't look bad. Let's go ahead and get level 2 hacking, though, in a power bar. There we go. Alright, it's dive time. That is certainly a system. Well, the options here are basically hack weapons and try to use our cloak to get away or hack engines. I'm going to go ahead and hack weapons because I think we get out before the ASB fires. So if we can just delay this thing, that's very good. There's definitely a possibility of not having to need it to use a hacking part here, too. I don't trust it, though. And we're off. Uh, NG control it is. Let's go. Is that our fourth NG sector this, uh, this run? That's cool. How am I just now noticing this design element right here? It's so good. It just blends right in. This game, dude. Alright, four shields, reactor upgrades, really what's left. A couple value points. I'll give you two fuel. Reactor upgrade. Got 30 scrap for two fuel. That's nice. All right, this one has shield overcharger. Hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and do a engine hack first here. I'm going to go ahead and board into their engines too. Actually, hold up. I got to go weapons first. And we'll worry about it from there. Okay, good. That's what I want. I wanted the missile launcher down. Okay, there's fire going on in there. Let's go ahead and get the boarding going. Our next hit is definitely going on... Med Bay. You're done, son. Okay, we're going to win this fight. We're winning. Get him, got him good. the civilian ship. Alright, the ship has clone bay, but no med bay. I also got a missile launcher. I am not convinced that I need to use a hacking part here. Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to use a hacking part then. Okay, we're going to back up battery into this and cloak that missile. All right, well, it can't be higher than um, level three clone bay, right? So let's go four here and three here. 
Okay, we got that down as well. Missile launcher also down. I think they're officially donezo bunzo. <laughs> we got level 302. This breach isn't doing anything. Yo, Onyx Arm, thanks for 11 months. One more for that year. Appreciate you. All right, Sibby's ran away. I can understand that. I'd probably run too. Like slugs with Manus on board? I'm out of here. All right, it's going to keep chasing the scrap here. I think I'm saving for four shields right now. Aid the civilian ship. Love it. Basically the exact same ship we just fought. This one has four shields, though, so I'm definitely going to use a hacking part. Okay, missile launcher is down. That's big. Okay, our crew could actually die to this, so let's move them over here and open these doors. Did I just not cloak? I... Okay. Oops. Okay, they both make it back without dying. They did. Amazing. Get back here. Yo, what's up, Schultz, the fighting engineer? Welcome aboard, dude. Welcome aboard. Get you a new name. Um, you are Mick Minifis. Awesome. Indeed we are, PETA. Slug life all day today. Well, at least for the remainder of this run. Yo, second NG's awesome. Love to see it. The Dream Repair Team. Alright, they're hacking our engines. They have a Vulcan and a rather weak system outside of that, so I do not need to counter hack here. Uh, Counter-hacking removes our hacking for this fight. I don't think I'm going to need that either, but... Anything but the doors, sir. Have mercy. I'm just going to load him over here. Okay, good. Alright, now I'm going to board into the... O2 room. Let's see what's up with that. Okay, after this crew dies, I'm going to move over to the clone bay, because I do not want that being repaired. And then we're going to board in with our second set of crew, getting a four on two here. Very good.
Store. Okay, what's up, Store? Okay, sell the fire drone here. Alright, I'm gonna buy four shields now and two power bars. Cool. Hell yeah, Sir Morag, thanks for 44 months and Chava Bob. Enjoy that lurk, man. Enjoy it. All right, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, dive. That's our remainder. All right, flak two, something over here. Is that defense two or defense one? Defense one. You know one thing the ship doesn't have? That is a med bay or clone bay. Boarding drone and battery. This fight should be over before that's a problem. Let's get our second set of orders ready. Can just cloak this. Oh, yeah. Get crunched. I think I might take a guaranteed fight. I might just go back up instead of taking the exit here. Guaranteed fight's better than a guaranteed good or neutral event, I would say. I don't want to sneeze again. I just did. All right, well, asteroid field first. Okay, defense to four shields. It's not not a small amount. Pretty weak crew comp though. Does that destroy my part? Is that what happened? No, it's still coming in. All right. Oh, it did destroy my part. Okay. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go one, two, hack. I'm going to do three and four. Okay, we have anti-personnel. Is that what's happening? Yep. It's fine. Okay, well, they're repairing the med bay. That's not good. Med bay is actually repaired. Um. How do? Okay, no. Don't want to lose this crew, man. How much health do you have left? Seven? Okay. I'm going to do emergency maneuver right here. Oh, 
Oh, he got killed. That's fair, man. That's fair. Um, are they both gonna die? That's tough, dude. How much health? Six. Okay, I gotta run up here. Ooh, both the manas died. Okay, well, I did that to myself. Luckily, we're kind of past the point of boarding ships, and we're not going to board versus the flagship either, so... Uh, that could have been worse. It's a good time to lose crew. Hmm. Have a lot more control over the mind control phase this way too. One, two, three, and then probably double dive, actually. Okay. Well, now that we lost those crew, I think I'm gonna just... go for straight-up kills. It'll be more simplified this way. Ion bomb, dude. All right. Respond to the call, move in and assist. All right, let's go ahead and hack the engine here. It's an interesting spot. I'm just gonna run up here. That'll do it. see. Okay, where's the console? Console's here. Did I just depower that? No, it got ioned. Okay. On the same page now. Oh, hell yeah. What's up, Gracie? Nice to have you on board. Let's rename you here, though. On insanity. Yeah, Daisy the cat's wild about braised cabbage. Loves it. What a world. Welcome back, mean fella. Definitely taking this. 
I will be double diving for this, but we're going to have more than enough scrap to do so. Hell yeah, outpost uh, means double reward here. Heck yes. That's a little annoying. Low level hack, though. Alright, sweet. 366 scrap. Uh, let's, uh, let's max out our engine here. Let's get value cloaking, value piloting, and max engines. Very cool. With eight engines, we absolutely get away before there's any ASB. That's a guarantee, in fact. Um, I maybe should hack here. I'm just going to do it for safety. This way I can fully disable their weapons before they fire. It's unlikely they can even fire their missile launcher, but just in case here. Let's make sure. You know, actually, I'm going to cloak the ASB here and uh, fire into shields. So it looks like we can kill them off. Might as well uh, steal that little bit of score that we can get. Yeah, next volley kills. I'm going to chill here for a moment because we're in ASB danger. So I want to have my cooldowns be off when I jump away. Yeah, I agree, Denny. I think the score is going to be very um, low compared to what we think it's going to be on this particular uh, event. No boarding ship here. Weird. It's going to be low because we got so much free stuff and scrap recovery arm. I could have gotten away with a shield hit there. Okay, I want that back online. Thank you. I don't know why I went for engines there, but I did. I can also afford to take three damage right now and still get a full healed. Certainly something to note. Piloting getting hit means our we can't jump. Don't worry, I got NGs for just such an occasion. All right, to the last stand, we're going. Alright, everybody, before we go into the last stand here, about two and a half hours into this run and the broadcast, gonna take that same break I take around the same time every single broadcast here. I'm gonna stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water, and grab a very quick snack, my breakfast, in fact. Let's be about five minutes here. Thanks for your patience during this brief one. As a reminder, no ads during any break during the show. Just do one set at the very end. So thank you again for your patience during this brief intermission. We'll return momentarily to finish off the Slug B run number 44 of the FTL one.
All righty, we have returned. Thanks so much for your patience during that brief intermission. Let's hop back into our run here, Sector 8. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go over this way first. So maybe I want to take a repair station just to load up on drone parts. Yeah, lots. I think one more set of drone parts would be really nice. We're relying on one drone part per fight here, so only six. We need three for the flagship fight. Eleven is a lot safer. Okay. Uh, no, I'm going to use a hacking part on pretty much every fight now. Good. All right, they're going to teleport back here shortly. There they go. Enemy crew will teleport back to their ship if their teleporter cooldown is online and they reach a certain threshold of HP. I'm sure it was a pretty cute daisy on break, huh? Uh, mean fella, I will uh, go over that technique um, when we get there, okay? I'll give a little tutorial for you. Oh, I could demonstrate it here, but this is actually a very tough hack, so we'll do it. Essentially, what you're doing is you're waiting until the defense drone or combat drone uh, is firing at your hacking part and then depowering it to stop it from moving. Okay, this is not good. This is, in fact, quite bad. Did it get hit again? Okay, I'm going to two hack or two cloak here. Okay, let's try one more time. This is a very tough one to get through. Dude, it got hit again. Wow. I'll go into more detail on the next uh, the next one here. Or I'll go into more detail on the flagship fight more specifically. Okay, so I'm going to go level 2 cloak again. Yeah, this is a really tough ship to hack even with the hacking toggle technique. Got him. Yeah, I'm just gonna go straight for the base here. Not much left to buy. Storage cache sounds cool. That'll do. Gonna just wait for him to cloak here. There's some spicy kitties going on right now. Extra spicy, extra kitty. Oh, 
Um, Daisy, can you not chew on that? Thanks. I know you're just a little baby kitty, but get it together. All right. All right, nothing useful. Scrap was useful, though. Doing good, Johto. Thank you. Okay, store's gone. That's fine. What can I buy still? Let's buy value weapons here. Uh, let's get a value point in this. Let's get three doors. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this fight because I can. And then we'll be into the flagship fight phase one. Phase two, we'll do a little uh, hacking toggle demonstration. Talk about all the ways to skip hacking or skip defense drones. All right, let's fight the ship then. The pilot hack looks good here. Are they going to board at weapons? Eh, okay. Time to get vented. Level four doors are very hard for them to get past, yeah. They can eventually do it, but it takes time. Okay, I'm gonna jump into them right now. What am I buying before I do that? I guess we're buying um, three hacking. Let's go for three piloting, actually. Yo, cheers, Limo. Glad this stream's helping you get better at the game. Certainly is uh, uh, always room for improvement in FTL. I'm certainly not a perfect player by any means, but I do know a few things. A little over 3,000 hours. All right. Phase one beginneth. We're a little at mercy of where the hack lands here. Where's it going to land? Okay, engine hack isn't good, isn't terrible. Back piloting. Nice hit. All right, I did fire right away, so I'm gonna fire again, actually, because I can get the heavy laser underneath. Just barely. Just barely is good enough. There's also fires in there. That's beautiful. That went really good. Guess I'll get three hack now. All right, phase two at the base, just like we wanted. All right, I'm going to describe the hacking toggle technique here. So the way defense drone works is it orbits your ship or their ship. Uh, anyways, it, orbit, it or orbits in a circular fashion. And when a projectile or hacking part or something that the defense drone can target, it chooses the point between point A and point B to intercept the projectile. Uh, when you fire out hacking... It moves slower, or it stops moving when you depower it. So what you do is you send your hacking part out, and you wait until the moment that the defense drone is firing, when this pip goes red. This is actually a perfect pause. Uh, and then you depower your hacking part. So you're basically stutter-stepping the targeting system of the defense drone. Okay, I need level 202 on. We need to defend that as well. And open the door so that doesn't destabilize. As a general rule for defense drones uh, in FTL, the smaller the enemy ship is, or the smaller your ship is, the more effective the defense drone is. 
because there's less time to travel for the projectile from point A to um, point B. So, for example, on that previous ship where I failed to get the uh, the hacking off, that Defense 2 anti-combat drone was orbiting a ship like a quarter this size. So it was just much more effective at intercepting our projectile. Okay, we're cloaking now. Not bad. Yes, the more drones they are, the more complicated it becomes, too. Very true. Okay, we got fire on board somewhere. It's got to be an empty room, because we hear it, but we don't see it. Let's open this door, open these. If there was a fire on one of our systems, we'd see a fire on this. Okay. Well, nothing nothing left to buy. Fair enough. All right, now for phase three, which we're jumping into. Um, I am going to get mind controlled here. The slugs cannot be mind controlled. So uh, either the NGs or the humans going to get mind controlled. So I'm actually tempted here to move the human out of the shield room, because that'd be a pretty easy thing to deal with. Let's do that. I think there's a good chance I jump back to the base here to kidnap the crew. Okay, he got mind controlled. That's not too bad. One advantage of this room being mind controlled is that the enemy crew is going to try to get to it. Um, like that. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do here is just wait for uh, the second set of borders and then jump back. Seems very good. In fact, let's go ahead and cloak these missiles. Just venting this so that they leave. Okay, so now they teleport over. They only have two crew left. Uh, so now that they're on our ship, I'm going to jump back to the base. Did the other crew actually die? They must have, huh? As far as I know, uh, priority for enemies on breaches is very similar to priority on fires. You guys go over here. You come down here. All right. Now those crew are no longer on the enemy flags, so at most they're going to board with one crew. That's nice. Artana, thanks for 10 wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. A crazy amount of subs, resubs, and new subs the past uh, past week here on stream. Just thank you all for that wonderful support once again. Literally could not do this without you. The fact that we are here and no frills for this long now is truly incredible to me. No place I'd rather be. Nothing I'd rather be doing.
Okay, same mind control unit. That's not too bad. Where is he going to board from? Okay, they've decided to change rooms. Oh, they're trying to go for the O2 now, I see. We're just going to chase him. That was a really great opener, man. That's fine. All right, so I'm actually going to do a level three pilot hack here. Bit of an odd play, but I got I got a plan. All right, I'm cloaking these. As soon as they pass over, I'm going to fire out the flak and then the burst laser. And the goal here is to start our hack at the last possible moment. Because doing this will make sure we get another set of flak off. Like this. See, our hacking is still active. Full 10 seconds on that. And then... We're just going to hit like this. Very nice. That timing is possible with a lot of weapons with automated reloader, but flak uh, heavy laser works very well there. GG, that definitely calls for some dapper time. Surprisingly clean run on Slug B. That was awesome. All right, now we're going to take score guesses. I think the score is going to be much lower than the run felt. Uh, let me just list off some of the things that dropped that run. Uh, burst Laser 2, Defense 2, Firebomb, uh, or Burst Laser 3, rather. Uh, Firebomb, uh, what else dropped? System Repair Drone, Beam Drone, Fire Drone. Heavy Laser 1. I think we're in like the 5300 range. Even though we had four shields and eight engines, the extra scrap provided by scrap recovery arm does not count. And we sold probably 300 scrap worth of stuff. Let's find out. 6294? Okay, that was about a thousand higher than I thought it was going to be. Why is that? Because we collected 2,176 scrap, even without the recovery arm. Okay. Much higher than I thought it'd be. Much higher. All right, let's figure out what our next ship's going to be. We're going to random three ships right now. NGA, Lanius A, Kestrel A. I think probably NGA will be the next ship. Yo, Engelbert, thanks for 17 months. Much appreciation, dude. Thank you, thank you.
Well, alas, that's going to have to wait till the next time we play FTL. It'll be run number 45 will be the NGA. Uh, I'm going to hop into some balloons right now. Check out the new update. Update 27 just dropped uh, not too long ago here. All right, I'll have to get out of full screen. One moment. Alt enter work, kind of. It did, but I still got to change the resolution here. One moment. Options. Screen size. Let's go for uh, 1920 by 1080 here, huh? Okay, that's better. All right. So let me get my title swapped here. Get this uh, capture going too. Where is my balloons capture? There it is. Title's good. Alright, let's take a look at the heroes. There's a new hero since I last played. Gonna grab this feller. Good old psionic monkey. This guy can see through walls, which is nice. Okay, so uh, on this update, there's this thing right here, boss balloon event. Greetings, brave adventurer. You've entered the realm of bosses. Good luck and remember these important rules. The boss event begins as soon as you hit play and there is no pause between rounds. Pop all five tiers of boss to win to reach boss mode. Build your economy, prepare your abilities, and make use of the time in between tiers. Earn trophies and other rewards with each tier defeated. Okay. All right, we're going to warm up with a regular event, and then I'm going to uh, try to take out the boss here. Let's just do a normal stage. What do we want to do? Hey, I haven't got any resort done. Let's just do a regular hard mode res resort. All right. As far as I know, this guy can attack anywhere on the map, but he does have an AoE ability too, so. Excuse me. Got lentil crust in my throat. Try it again. So I'm going to put him down like um, over here. Free Dart Monkey. Where's Dart Monkey going to go? So I think the pathing on this one goes, they go here, uh, they go around this way, then they go around this way, then they go around this way. Of course, Daisy loves watching balloons. I'm just going to slap you right here for right now. The crossbow upgrade, this should be pretty good. We can also go back here. Go here, though. Well, if you're new to balloons, it's just a tower defense game with monkeys and balloons. One of the best on the market for sure. Haven't played it for a little bit here on stream, but we're doing it. Oh, thank you. You can tap the base of the umbrellas to close them. Cheers. Yo, TR Merrick, thanks for almost 70 months of continuous support. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you. Let me just go for, like, a merchant ship here to start. Seems pretty all right. Okay, if we're getting range increase, where's the best spot? I think, like, right about here looks really good. It ain't gonna be bad, that's for sure. So I think they're introducing this boss um, boss battle mechanic thing to have like an in-between when the um, what am I trying to say here? Have an in-between when the 
Odysseys are down. Like, in between the Odyssey resetting, there's going to be boss battle things. It's amazing how much content this game has released since I started playing it. And tons of new maps, new heroes, new mechanics. It's a very um, well-developed game. Putting this one on strong makes sense right now. I think just with the way this map is laid out, I can get to Merchantmen before I do any other upgrade. Or generating some passive income. It's only 80 rounds, but still. So eventually this uh, feller's AoE ability, as far as I can tell, can target multiple balloons, which is a really sick effect. can also take out leaded balloons uh, early on. Oh yeah, we're making Merchant Man first here for sure. Is looking good. Alright, now we're generating 200 extra monkey bucks per round. That's awesome. Definitely going for grape shot and then hot shot. Honestly, you can probably delay hot shot because this guy takes out the first two waves of leaded, as far as I know. Alright, who's going to go here? the idea of a tack factory in here. Can we do tack factory and something else? Probably. I'm gonna put this one up in the top corner. Probably a pretty sick spot for glue monkey, honestly. Let's put glue guy here. Go relenting glue. Check it out. Uh, I'm going to put this one on last, actually. Probably could have just rushed a second merchantman here. Oh, well. Feeling like we're looking pretty good. Got to get something for Moabs before around 40. That should be non-issue. Oh yeah, these first two leaded rounds are just no bigs. Alright, let's go for... Um, Hot shot anyways on one. I'm just going to go grape shot on the other. And then I'm going to put down a mage right here. Okay. I'm going to make this mage um, arcane spike. First step, though, is get like Arcade Mastery, so he gets the range increase. There we go. Well, that range increase wasn't so hot right there. Oh, well. Does this guy need Camo Vision? Let's go ahead and do it. It's not going to hurt.
I think I want to go Relentless Glue on this. Let's go Glue Soak so it goes through all layers of blooms, and then we're going to start doing this. Probably actually much better um, right now to go for a Cannon first if we're going to have round 40 coming up. Tough choice of where to put it, though. This should actually be quite effective. All right, this one we're going to be going Moab Mauler Heavy Bombs. Put him on strong. We'll get Moab Mauler down before wave 40, which we will. We're going to be feeling good. Now I'm going to work towards Relenting Glue, because when we get Relenting Glue, it's going to start leaving glue all over the track when these balloons die, and then it's going to stick to other balloons and create a cascading effect. Okay, we might even get to Moab Glue before... The Moab's here, that'd be awesome. My poor unupgraded Dart Monkey. I'll get to you soon, bud. All right, feeling very confident right now. So corrosive glue as well. One more upgrade and we got relentless glue down. Yo, Meowners, thank you so much for 20 months. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Nice. Okay, relentless glue is on, so we'll get some... Pink stuff left on the, the map that's going to sticky everything that passes through it, or sticky a certain amount of balloon value. Point being, everything's going to get slowed down. I'm going to grab Hotshot here, and I think I was going to save right up for Arcane Spike 11,000. And after this, we'll go check out that uh, that new boss event. Looks pretty cool. Glad we decided to play some balloon save. I've been missing this game a little bit. So I've heard, uh, Jinte. Looking forward to uh, seeing how difficult it is. All right, Arcane Spike's out. Arcane Spike just is a very strong upgrade for a Tier 4. Let's grab some upgrades on this, too. What am I going to grab? Which one's Tax Zone? Tax zone. I don't need tax zone, but go for tax sprayer. Feeling is we're gonna get everything popped or open for the overdrive to work. Tax zone in this location is a little bit overkill because the radius will be uh, lost on this side. I think it'll be firing too far out. Still a strong functional upgrade though. Let's go for um, crossbow here. Quick shots. I think Nate, wave 63 is kind of the next concern. You know what's always good in this game? Um, Spike Factory. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this to Spiked Mines. That's the plan. This is an incredibly powerful tower. It's very easy to overlook because it's often not, it's not flashy like some things like Arcane Spike. But this is providing insurance if things reach this last ring of the map, we have some cleanup functionality. 
it is quite good. Perma spike's pretty great, I agree. Alright, I'm gonna do one more here. I'm gonna toss a ninja monkey right here in the corner. Uh, and this ninja monkey is going to be a flash bomb, sticky bomb ninja. Sticky bomb is going to fix wave 60 and wave 80 for that matter. Sticky bomb is one of the most powerful Moab killing skills in the game. It slaps a sticky bomb right on him and its range is really more line of sight than it is area. It's a really good spot for him. Yeah, fail but Camo balloons can be really troublesome. Uh, the spike factory can cover uh, camo balloons naturally. As a little aside. up kiwi okay we're doing very well on 59 here 60 is gonna get crushed by the sticky bomb ninja i just put down yep devastated i don't think we're quite adequate for wave 63 yet So what do I want to buy next? Let's get through 62 and see what we have. I think I'm just going to buy spiked mines. You can see there, Sticky Bomb destroys the reinforced Moabs, which are 400% HP. One hit. Uh, no, Bad Wolf. He's actually my first first run on the new update. I have not done any of the uh, Paragon units yet. Uh, my understanding on how those work, though, is you create all three of the Tier 5 monkeys, and then you get a Paragon unit. Uh, if you can explain the mechanic, I'd appreciate it. Do you get the Paragon unit on creating the last Tier 5, or are you able to place it after having three Tier 5s? <laughs> that emote's uh, pretty great, Archangel. I like it. Oh, I know a fun unit to place right now. We're going to do um, Unstable Concoction. Unstable Concoction coats the Moabs in explosive liquids. So they do AoE damage when they die. Okay, you can choose to upgrade one of the tier 5s into the Paragon. Awesome. Thanks for explaining the mechanic. I think we're actually good for wave 80 right now, but we'll keep chugging. I know the unit I want to build. Better up here? It probably is better up here. I'm going to put this one on last. Uh, it's not going to be the best ball lightning I've ever made, but it's not going to be bad. Yeah, that works. All right, so the new Paragon Monkeys are very, very expensive. Got it.
Oh yeah, I got uh, I got these things I can do. There you go. Let's toss down a... Submarine? I'm actually gonna go right here. Uh... Alright, that placement wasn't great, but it'll get the job done. definitely think we're 100% um, sorted out here. Nothing's even made it into this bin for a while now. 78 is a very big wave, so that could, that could get past it, but is it going to be more value than the mines? I don't think so. Uh, wave 80 is the green Moab. We got that covered for sure as well. drop one of these down. Target's gonna be right here. We're gonna go for the big one. Good man, looking good. Oh yeah, lots of room to play around. I just, I like I like all the towers in this game. Doing some very strong strategies, but I used to spend 121,000 on the Psy Monkey. Well, we did it. We uh, we won. What's this? Oh, this is saying Paragon, right, okay. Unlock for 500,000 XP, let's go. Apex Plasma Master. Okay, dude, that sounds nice. Okay, I don't have enough XP, so I need to start using some boomerang monkeys. All right, then. What was the other one? We're very close. Oh, I already have that one. Uh, is it just Boomerang and Dart Monkey? I guess we'll be using some Boomerang Monkeys here shortly. Only two. Okay, thank you. Uh, before we head into this boss battle, just going to take a very short break here. It's going to stand up, stretch real fast, and refill my water, and then we'll try uh, the Blue Narius. The Inflator Awakens. Be right back.
All right. We're back. We're ready to do this Blue Darius event here, but first, we gotta do something else, though. Gotta boops that kitty. Ready? Boop. You've been boopsed. Hold hands for a minute. And cats love holding hands. Favorite activity. Hold your cat's hand at your own risk of your hand. That's all I'm saying. Yo, Old Chief 92, thanks for 16 months as we kick this off. Okay, let's try this uh, normal. What hero do I want to use? Probably not Psy Monkey. Let's give Psy Monkey a try first, though. It is uh, a new one. Okay. Okay. Rules. Custom rounds. End round 140. 140 is not a joke. Not a joke. Psy Monkey does not hit bads. That's tough. Still gonna do it. All right. So, um, boss appears in 39. Does the, where's the boss appear from here? Does it just go along the track? What do? I want Psy Monkey right here. That's still gonna be the best of his AOE ability. Goes all the way through. Fair enough. Okay, I'm going to put him here. I'm going to put my free dart monkey right about um, her. And I'll put dart monkey right here. It's going to be a juggernaut monkey. He spawns little balloons too. That jerk. How dare he. So I think it's fair to say here that we're definitely going to want to be getting some farm down. Round 140 is going to require some... Um, some farm. Okay, thanks for the heads up on the global coverage as well. I got lots of health here, so let's just go in on making some banana bucks. Might have been better to put down a second banana farm first. I don't remember. Okay, we're gonna go greater production then. The question is becoming how much can I get away with here? Two banana farms would be a good start. And if we can get a monkey town going too, that could that could be it. That could be enough. It's gonna be a little experiment to see what we can get away with, what we can't. So I'm getting a little worried about that pathing there. Yeah, it's starting to get weird. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. 
All right, that's going to be about the max we can get away with for right now. Am I on auto start right now? I'm not. Oh, there is no pause between rounds here. That's right. All right, 16 rounds until the boss appears. Let me see if I can get some shenanigan going here as far as discounts. Um, okay, we're going to go right here. Well, we're going to go range, maybe not. Okay, here we go. Do this. I'm going to do monkey business, monkey commerce. This makes the monkeys that we put down cost less, which I think is going to be important. All right. Definitely seems like it's time to put down another monkey too, doesn't it? Your balloon area denial system would be real cool. Let's try this real quick. Can I not get in there? That's tough. All right, well, ninja's never bad. Yo, PJ City 22 thanks for 10 awesome months, man. Much appreciation. Yeah, we will be leaving some bananas on the ground. I'm not trying to play perfectly. Thank you, though. I just want to see how this does on the boss. I'm guessing not well, but I'm curious to know. You're going on strong now. is coming in after this wave. Here we go. Okay, a scene. That is a lot of HP. Okay, got it. A lot of a lot of cashola, dude. Yeah, that's certainly a thing, isn't it? So, what is this corruption on there? What is that? Okay, there's also a lot of money associated with that. I mean, a lot, a lot. Just an indicator those were spawned by the boss. Okay. Okay, well, first things first, I'm going to go back. I'm going to pick a different hero. Love Psy Monkey, he's not right for this, I can tell you right now. 
Mostly because he's not attacking the... Uh... Yeah, not attacking that. Maybe we go Benji here and go for more bucks. Let's give this a try. I do think getting the right amount of farm is going to be the uh, main concern here. I think Juggernaut would do very well right here as well. What can I get away with as far as monkey placement? Let's see what it does here. We do have a lot of uh, a lot of extra. Yeah, Benjamin does not necessarily provide any bonus here, so we're just going to drop him in the corner. Yes, yeah, Sauda would be a very good boss damage, I agree. Thinking Glaive Lord right here would be pretty supreme. Put this down for right now. Yo, Coil, thanks for those bits. Really appreciate that, man. Is that it, or do I do over here? I think back here actually makes more sense. He's doing quite well right now. Okay. Okay, Monkey Town's 10,000. I can get there. Is that not quite in the range? Oh, that's tough. That is tough. Twenty five rounds till Blunarius appears. Yeah, Moab knockback is very effective on the boomerang monkeys. I concur. I'm going to grab double shot here, and then I'm going to chill out for a moment. Let's see how far we can go with this. Yo, Iha the Judge, thanks for 53 months, and Rocket did too. Thanks for 87. So glad you could make the live show today. Thanks a lot. Thinking maybe I can actually save up for Monkey Town here, which makes all monkeys in the radius uh, give more money per pop. And with how much money we're generating just flat right now, it seems like it might be a very good way to go about this. till the boss. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I don't know if we're gonna make it. 
Yo, LED fan, thanks for 80 wonderful months. Much appreciation. Get hacker man. go now i have to wonder if i'm gonna make balloon area denial system which is kind of my plan here i think so which upgrade is this it's a stretch Twelve thousand, probably not making twelve thousand here. I think we're a bit bamboozled right now. Guess we'll find out soon. I mean, the money's definitely right. Monkey Town seems like a very good call here. Except for when that happens. Okay. Not bad. I definitely had more damage that time, but we need, uh, we need end of the line clear. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and use Sauda. Sauda is gonna be really good here. My legendary. Yo, Gossix, thanks for 57 months. Thanks, dude. Alright, gonna put Sauda right here. Maybe Sauda on this side makes more sense. I still want to try to do Monkey Town in the middle, is the thing. So coverage becomes important. I could even do this to have some swinging on the, the back end. Okay, I'm going to go here. Be good for crossbow master. All right, uh, so Sauda needs an alchemist to get through some waves that are come up, but past that doesn't need much else. Yo, Shadow Fan, thanks for that five gift sub package. Much appreciation. Thanks a lot. So by round 28, I need um, need that, rather. Yeah, round 28. Ooh, does Sticky Bomb Ninja Sticky Bomb the um, Balloon Arius? That seems like it'd be a really strong option here. Thanks for a huge generosity, Shadow Fan. Thanks so much, man.
Yeah, Sticky Bomb has a lot of damage. 400 per bomb, I think. So that would be a lot of damage, and the range on it's really good, too. We'll see. Do I have monkey farmers? Yeah, let's just slap one down here. Just for funsies. Big fan of Sticky Bomb Ninja myself. The attack zone right here would be awesome as well. Just thinking of plans. down here for a second we got a good start we got double um banana plantation we'll go here now i'd actually like it if uh the alchemist was only buffing sauda i don't think it's gonna happen let's try this real quick what is the range on this okay bigger radius Again, I'm probably pushing this too far, but uh, getting discounts is a, a big deal. seven waves here. That's tough. Let's toss this down right here. I do think balloon area denial system could be really strong. I think we got it this time. We'll see. Yo, thank y'all for that hype train. Hope y'all enjoy your emote unlocks associated with it. Awesome. Alright, here comes the boss in a second. Here we go. Okay, 
Definitely want him on first. We're gonna go shrapnel shot. Well, I should not have done that yet. you do it again or is this the end of the phase okay <sighs> okay then uh we did that all right tier one down so the question becomes now what is the next upgrade we're trying to get Honestly, Monkey Town for 50% bonus cash pops on these seems really good. But does that set us too far behind? I don't know. I also want to get Jungle Drums. So let's go for this and see what happens. There's five tiers of that boss up to wave 140. Only 10 rounds here. This is like vicious. Okay, Monkey Town means we're just getting a lot more money per pop. That's good good fifty eight thousand just seems so unlikely we get to fifty eight thousand okay, let's go here uh, I think the next thing that I want to put down is a ninja monkey with sticky bombs right here. Flash bombs will not be bad either. Okay. Balloon Solver sounds real tempting. I really, really doubt we make Balloon Solver. Uh, no, Dave, this is the normal one. It's only our third attempt or so. What I'm putting down is another um, blue and area denial system right here. Gotta have stuff to protect the back end.
Okay, I now have a Sauda's second ability, so that'll be really nice on the, um... When he swaps here. Damage looks okay right now. Okay, didn't even need the ability. That's good. That's very good. Mm. I feel like I should spend here, but... I should have put him back in the line more. Good old wave 63. You know what, a ball lightning druid right here would be really good. Um, what about arcane spike mage, huh? Yeah, I'll go for the uh, monkey sense here. Okay, I might as well do the two ability now. Sweep it up. Tier 2 is damn. Nice. I'm just going to grab Arcane Spikes. It should be very effective here. I'm going to toss down one more of these two. We got some rounds now. How much is Glaive Lord? I think Glaive Lord would be an amazing damage ability. Uh, it looks like this is a special event. We didn't spend any monkey bucks to do this, so no... Uh expectation of return. You know what, Monkey, would be really solid right now? A Bernie Stuff Mortar.
Seven rounds is probably enough to get a tier five here. What tier five do I want? Yo, Tar, thank you so much for making it official with Prime. Sorry for not seeing your subscription earlier there. And S. Jarlin, thanks for 42 months. Okay, we can definitely make Archmage right now. Sure on that. Oh, hey, I want Balloon Solver. That's one I want. Let's go ahead and upgrade this, too. Nice, Epronaut. Nice. Alright, here's Blue Narius. Hey, look at that. Sticky Bombs are doing the work right now. Slow this down. Not really sure what next upgrade I get. Crossbow Master is probably very nice. I think Crossbow Master is what I'm going to buy here. That's a lot of health. We're not currently finishing them like this. That's good. Let's put him on strong as well. So he's going after the boss. Going to need that extra hit. So much health. So much. He's definitely more than a quarter of the way through the track here.
Oh, we're getting that done. That's nice. Can make Spectre. Okay, I think we've survived here. Just barely. Okay. Only seven rounds till the boss. That is brutal. I think I'd like blue and exclusion zone in the middle here. Uh, certainly Master Bomber also has to be very nice. Let's just see how the money goes, because we clearly have enough to survive the regular waves. If we could make Flying Fortress, I think that could be uh, definitely something I'd like. That's <laughs> it's a lot of money away, though. A lot. Well, we currently have enough for Blue and Exclusion Zone. I like Blue and Exclusion Zone because it basically hits map wide and it's uh, very fast firing. Well, you guys are more than welcome to discuss strategy. It's only my third attempt on this, so not exactly looking for. Um Tower suggestions, but you're more than welcome to discuss. It's all good. All right, we're getting Flying Fortress here, it looks like. Barely. You can do it. Okay, Flying Fortress is out. Still looks like we're in trouble here. Seven hundred and fifty thousand health. Too late for Glaive Lord. Maybe, maybe not. I think it'll still hit this. Way past the halfway mark.
GG. Wave 109. Not bad. Not bad. So that's tier 4. So we have to even um, further distill our DPS. It's a good one for our third attempt. Okay, let's go back here. Do I have knowledge to spend? I don't. Okay, powers, uh, banana farmer. I'm gonna add a few of these. Have a good one, Roy Klein. Take it easy. Oh, that's tough. I'm debating, like, what kind of strat I want to use. There's a couple towers I didn't use that could be good. Um, Moab Mauler, probably nice. Uh, I think the Bloon Solver Glue Monkey was an underperformer. Let's take a look at the monkeys real quick. Um, so... Can the big balloon areas be slowed down? I guess is one question. Yeah, Monkey Town was necessary. Um, for sure. We needed that money. I, in fact, think we needed more money than we were getting. Oh, snap. Agenda, it's a really good idea getting this um, Spirit of the Forest going. Spirit of the Forest would cover the entire track in Thorns. Okay, you're using Icicle and Pale. It was not slowing at all. Cool. Good to know. Ball Lightning could be all right. I guess my problem with Ball Lightning is that the Balloon Arius is going to get down the track and then it's going to divert the Ball Lightning. How does Balloon Master Alchemist work on that? That's a good question. It's not going to convert him to a red balloon, but it does a lot of damage. Uh, Necromancer a Mage is probably a very good idea. It's probably a good idea. Uh, Plane seem to be pretty effective. Uh, Super Monkey Dark Champion uh, in the middle of the map would be a lot of Moab damage. I don't intend on teleporting, though. So I don't think there's any way to slow down uh, Blue Narius, is what it boils down to. Uh, Apache Dartship or Apache Prime could also be really good, because this would be on target the entire time on uh, Blue Narius. Blue Narius is immune to all slows except Moab Glue Gunner, so a Moab Glue Gunner seems like a necessity in the middle of the map there. I did not get the more valuable uh, bananas upgrade on my arms there. Hmm. Yeah, main mob wasn't it, so snipers just weren't great. We want this. And that is tough. I didn't quite get the start sorted out either. Like what did I what did I do really? I went for Sauda Alchemist um, into double banana farm.
Yeah, good question how much the Tier 5 Moab Mauler um, does. You can activate that quite quickly. You could probably activate that 8 to 10 times in the time that the boss goes through the map. So that's probably got to be good. Alright guys, uh, I'm actually going to take just a very short break. I'm just going to think on this for a second. Uh, when I return, we will give Blue Narius another go. I think we're like right there. This will be attempt number four. Um, I'm going to do the same ish start where I have Sauda plus Alchemist Monkey. Any other hero I'd be willing to use here? I bet uh, Tank Feller is actually quite strong on this. He's got really good range and um, very good damage versus Moabs. Adora is probably okay too. We'll give Sauda another go. We know Sauda is a very clean start with the Alchemist. All right, be back in just a second to kick it off one more time. All right, guys, thanks so much for your patience during that brief one. Let's give this another try. So we made it to tier four and almost through, but 750,000 HP was just a little bit much. Yo, Dill, thanks for four months of prime support and Ginger Vitus 32. Thanks for 97 months of lurking, my man. That is like a couple months, dude. Let's go ahead and go here. You know, I bet tack zone in the middle is pretty, uh, pretty sick. All right, I'm going to put this one right here. It's going to be a juggernaut this time. 
crossbow master was nice, but juggernaut is also very efficient. Okay, well that's a start. So I was thinking out loud here, I think some of the uh, the most efficient towers I used last time were number one was the Sticky Bomb Ninja. That was mega legit. Here's a question for the Bloons Masters in chat. Uh, is it better to put down two unupgraded banana farms or to upgrade one banana farm? Okay, upgrade one, then put down the other. Got it, thanks. Let's just go ahead and put a monkey farmer down. I got like mad monkey bucks at this moment. Yeah, Grammar, the um, Bloons TD Reddit has a lot of resources like that if you're looking for pure mathematics. Though the truth of it is that huh, there's not much functional difference in most of the strats. Uh, yes, there's a little bit more money here or there choosing a different path or up upgrading in a different order, but it's, uh, it's pretty well balanced. We have 18 right now. We have 24 now. Hmm, hold on. What do I want to put down for lead? I guess we just put down the alchemist for right now. Yeah, let's do that. We'll get that first wave. You don't even have to go into the uh, the bonus here. I also want to keep his buff a little lighter this time. Let's put him right here. Put him on strong. Playing a very dangerous game here. I think I'm gonna get burned doing this too, but you know what? I'm, I'm right here. I'm already doing it. So here we go. All right, now I'm gonna try to go for even a little more greed, just a little bit, just a little bit here. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a hut down. with cheaper upgrades. Okay, right here. We're gonna monkey town after the first wave, if we live, if we live. This 
It's debating what I want to put down next. Okay, I want to know for sure if the boss can be slowed by... can be slowed by Moab here. Let's just grab this too, so he's in range, gains more range. The re ranging That discount's big, man. All right. Yes, I've been told the glue can slow the boss, is why I'm interested. Now we got three rounds left. I'm gonna put down Sticky Bomb Ninja, uh, I think right in the middle here. Maybe back here to get a stun too could be good. Sticky Bomb Ninja needs to be in the center here. I'm just gonna put it back here. I think it'll still hit it when it's on the front of the track. This should be a pretty optimal placement. And yes, we will get Sticky Bomb down in time. As far as I know, this attack is separate to the regular attacks. That's a great question if the um, distraction on Ninja slows as well. Great question. I think we might be done here. That's okay. I don't have much to protect the back end here. Let's try this uh, bouncing bullet ninja again. At, or sniper rather it worked oh my god daisy just you're a cat okay get it together cat Okay, that was like really close. We had we had a good balance there. Our damage was tip top, and we can see the glue has stuck to Blunarius right here. Great question, Blue Link. It seems like Bernie stuff was quite effective. Okay, so what I needed there was more uh, protection in the back. Or better AoE damage. Maybe a, uh, a cannon with cluster bomb could be really nice right here. Okay. Let's do that again. Let's do something very similar. Ah, uh, yes, let's put down a Necromancer this time. I think that's a cool, cool idea. I don't use the Necromancer Monkey very much, but it seems like all the um, strats are on the table here for this. This is a very difficult event. The most difficult challenge I've seen in Bloons. Some of the maps are very challenging too, but as far as events go, this is pretty gnarly. I think our big takeaway from that last attempt is that the Glue Gunner's Moab Glue slows down Bloonarius. All right, Daisy, you gotta stop. You're shining sun right in my face. 
attacking the curtains because, you know, you're a little baby kitty. Yeah, day's been, like, super ultra spicy for, um, like, the entire week. To be fair, she's only an 18-week-old cat, so that's pretty normal. I'm liking all these ideas that we saw in chat. Some good, uh, some good ones. We haven't tried Druid yet either. That's a good idea. Let's get uh, get past this start first. The intensity at which this cat is watching balloons right now is frightening. Okay, well there you go. She laid down for two seconds. I see what I do. I put Lightning Orb Druid right here if I'm going to do it. Okay, this time I'm going to put down uh, three banana farms, maybe four banana farms before I do the other stuff. I'm going to get these all to level two. Really just trying some stuff out here with what we can get away with in the start. That's the, that's the thing. Yo, corrosive glue, that also solves the first wave. Maybe I'm going to try to get away from that alchemist. It was doing good work, but... We'll see. I have no doubt the elite version of this is crazy difficult. Maybe we'll get there, maybe we won't. Alright, I gotta do something for lead soon. But a little more greed first. Let's put this uh, this glue gunner down. I think right in the middle is appropriate for what's happening here. I'm gonna do glue soak, corrosive glue, and then we're going down this way. I'm gonna put it on strong. Tier four is eight million HP. Wow! Thanks for that tidbit. Uh, looking forward to that pretty extreme challenge. Well. Does it fit? It doesn't fit. Oh, I saw it. It fit. Let's uh, see if we can get this one. I saw it. There it was. I think we're good for 28 here. And I keep seeing it. Is it is it actually there? Is this a thing that exists? We got it. Okay, I think this is definitely our best money start. So if I can get this down now. get the uh, discount going. Bigger radius. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade these banana farms after 
the Blunarius wave. I'm gonna try to get them all leveled up to the next level after that. But let's try to get some good gain going here. We can do this and then also get Monkey Town, and we should be looking pretty good on cash. This is the most banana farms I've put down yet. Can Druid go in here? Oh, man. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Got an idea. Where's the um, upgrade here? Jungle's Bounty. Only 5,000. Okay. I can tell you right now I'm not going to do a good job of staying on top of this cooldown, but it's going to be a lot of money regardless. This is probably too much of an investment and will cost us the uh, round here, but I got to see how this works. What's the worst that happens? We lose and got to try again? Oh, no. Okay. Yo, what does TechBot do? What does it do? Can activate your abilities for you as soon as they're ready. Okay, fine. I'll drop one of those. Does it have to be in range? Or is it just auto-activate? Guess we'll find out. Ah, uh, select tower to link. There we go. I get it now. Link it up. Okay, we definitely need more damage here. Oh, man, I think we might be too far, too far gone here. Um... What do... I'll go here. This will be a good cluster bomb. Still have a couple rounds. Oh, that looks pretty nice. All right, we need to get down Sticky Bomb Ninja. Gotta happen. I think Sticky Bomb Ninja should be right here. Right there. Gonna be close. Oh, that farmer's out of range of this one. Dang it. Okay, sticky bomb's pretty chunky. Oh! Dead. Okay. Well, one thing's for sure, just the Sticky Bomber is good enough damage for Wave 1. Wave 1's okay with that. Okay, this time I'm not putting down that Druid, at least not till much later. Okay, we did not put down our Necromancer. I really like Dragon Breath um, Mage as well. So many ideas. I think we had the right amount of farms, and I'm also going to wait to upgrade them till afterwards. I think we had a good read on um, the start of that one.
Let me get all caught up here. No Mesta, thanks for 86 months. Ghosty, thanks for five. Cerebral, thanks for four months. And Lettuce, 221. Thanks for five biggins, dude. Appreciate that a lot. Arcane Spike does. Necromancer right here works because then it'll push um, them back here. We'll see. Corrosive Glue Gunner was a very cheap solution for the start here, too. We're going places, we're doing things. On 21, got a little bit of time here, just a little bit. Okay, now I'm put glue gunner down. Right here, though. Gonna put him on strong. Gonna put a hut down right here. It looks actually very good. Gonna give it monkey commerce, bigger radiance. All right, now our upgrades are cheaper. Edna is very good. I agree. There room for a regular monkey in here? Feels like there should be. Okay, well, overcrowded that area a little bit. That's fine. He's going right there. I don't need to buy that yet. What do I, what else do I want to upgrade? Let's try this. I'm not gonna upgrade these till to um, level three until afterwards. This does give us more money per banana bunch. Yo, Ray of Doom sounds fun. It's a great ability. I 
I think upgrading these to increase banana value is a mistake right now. Okay, mistakes are meant to be made. Okay, dropping this back here for sure. I'll put this druid right here. Want druidic reach? I do. Should have saved that ability. Oh well. Okay. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Slow this thing down. Putting Sniper on first, right over here. Nope. Nope, maybe. Maybe. Okay, that's about as close as it gets. Okay, looks like we survived. Okay, cool. Wowza woza. Looks like a good time for some junkie drums. Okay. Hello. Okay, I'm going to save up the 10k for a monkey town, because this is going to make way more money than the banana farms long term. Uh, so if you don't like to worry about backseat gaming or spoiling here, you're more than welcome to make suggestions, just... I'm not looking for you to tell me the exact way to play the map, though if you want to discuss any of the game's mechanics, talk about strategies you enjoy using, uh, all that stuff, that's all good. Okay. Now we got 10 rounds to improve this. Frankly, I think tax zone's probably pretty sick. Hold on, you know what's interesting to me right now? Uh, tier 5 primary uh, tower. Oh, this is dumb. Let's do it. Yeah, that right there. Let's put down one of these over here. Look at that range right now. Oh, I can get both. We're gonna do both. We want this guy, I think. Yeah. This right here. Should make an excellent cluster bomb. Yeah, thanks for that reminder on Moab Glue. You're absolutely right. Go ahead and grab that right now. See how strong he is. Okay, how much is this? 25,000. We definitely need more coverage back here.
<laughs> Having a hard time seeing Super Juggernaut being wrong. Okay, this guy's got some free upgrades. What route are we going on the Ice Monkey? I don't know. Cryo Cannon's really good. Super Brittle. Also quite nice. Yeah, double discount can be really strong. I agree. Just go for Cryo Cannon Icicles here. It's certainly not going to hurt things. Honestly, I think primary expertise might be the one. Bomb Blitzes. Uh, bomb Blitz actually for this would uh, stop or kill all balloons if one reached the end. Let's do this. It's not going to be bad. Let's do this as well. Upgrade this thing. Okay, before I forget this... Okay, the damage looks all right here. I'm going to slow this down. I think our damage is okay. Yeah, we are at normal right now. This is like my uh, fourth attempt at this. It's been a fun challenge so far. Handling 63. This looks good. He's getting down to about half when he reaches here. So by the time he reaches over here, it should be done. Oh, yeah. Monkey City. That increases money gains. Okay, let's go. Let's we'll start throwing free dart monkeys down here. As long as he's below half before he reaches this, I'm feeling all right. Okay, well now this is sorted out. What are we buying next? We got him. All right, 14 rounds till the boss reappears. All right, before I grab that, grab one of these.
want to get the uh, the final upgrade on this and place some more primary monkeys down in this area. We're probably at the point we can get tier 5 druid on too, which is... How much does that cost? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. All right. I'm not sure I want to do that. We'll cover the entire map in thorns, which has to be nice. Decisions. The amount of money we're making is really good. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade one more banana farm and that's as greedy as I'm getting for right now. Oh, hey, double monkey business isn't a bad idea. Let's go ahead and give camo reveal here, though. It seems pretty important. I'm going to grab the tier 5 monkey village for this one. Good. I think another very good thing to get here could be the Moab Eliminator. I can probably afford Moab Eliminator actually before um, the time comes. Could definitely get Tax Zone. Tax Zone actually sounds pretty amazing. Let's try this. Tax zone next. Looks like we're basically going to have both. After that, Arcane Spike Mage, and then we can um, make some more decisions. Wow, we got them both. The money generation is very good right now. Pretty good damage. Oh, super glue. I didn't even think about that. Let's grab super glue. Okay, we're making it, it looks like.
I think next is Master Bomber. Okay, it's actually a little bit scary. Slow this down for a second. Yeah, that's right at the halfway point. Hmm. Keep up on this cooldown. Are we gonna make this? I think we're gonna make it. So much action. 40,000 for this? 40. Helicopter's probably a very good suggestion soon. Oh yeah, we're making it. There we go. Everything gets sticky bomb now. Tenebris Overlord, thanks for 48 months. Appreciate that four years. Thank you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just finish these. We held. And I think this will get through a normal round 100, so it's all about improving for the boss now. Some planes and stuff could be sick as well. Okay, there's that. 12 rounds now. Hmm. There's a lot of good options here. We do definitely need to increase our single target damage on Moabs. There's no question about that. What about um, Mortar with Bernie stuff? Icicle and Pale does uh, better damage to Moabs, too. That's probably actually a very good option for a Tier 5. All right, let's grab Icicle and Pale. It's not going to hurt to upgrade the units we have to a higher tier. Balloon Area Denial System was really good for us last time. I like the idea of a rapid-fire sniper here. Faster reload to all snipers, okay. Which is this 13,000, it's not bad. easy to afford. You know what could work interesting here? Let me let me take a look at this real fast. We put this uh, going for this upgrade. It's expensive. We could make it, though. We put that right here, firing this way. Actually, I guess right here, firing that way. We're not going to get the discount on it, but it's going to be very good. Let's 
set target. This will be on target most of the time. I don't know if I actually want faster firing or focus. Laser shock does sound good. Darts move faster and pop three balloons each. I'm gonna go for this. There we go. It's gonna be a really nice activatable ability versus the boss. I kind of think we save for a super storm here. I'm gonna do it. Bad. Okay, we're looking good right now. like we survived this round. Oh, that is a lot of Moab. Okay. Great, man. We got 14 rounds here. I'm not going to be able to keep up with that, but oh well. We'll try. Only non tier 5 down here is. These two. Maybe not the best spot for him, but it'll do. I'm on strong. Debating if we can get to Paragon status here. Okay, what is the... Okay, Plasma Monkey Fan Club.
I don't know if I should go for this or not. I'm gonna try. Upgrade one of your tier 5 monkeys into a paragon. Paragons absorb all monkeys of their type, including a tier 5 monkey from the other two paths. The degree of the paragon is influenced by how much power is absorbed at the moment of upgrade. Okay. This one. This is, this is the one. I guess we don't make this, but I could probably maybe even sell some stuff off to make it. We got nine full rounds, and I don't think anything's making it through. Should probably have a backup plan if this doesn't work of what I want to put down to upgrade, because we're going to need the help. Probably like Flying Fortress. Yeah, we already have the Tier 5 of the other Dart Monkeys. Crossbow Master and this one. What would be the point of placing the free monkeys before we uh, activate the Paragon? And is there a maximum amount of money you can spend on them for the upgrade? I also do not believe at this moment I'm making 350k, so I think I gotta give up on this idea right now. That's a tier 5 I wanted. Farm sell for 18,000 each right now. We're taking out bads, that's nice. Doesn't look like we're making it. What does this do? Oh, okay. Maybe, though. Maybe. I think Flying Fortress might be a bit too late, but Spectre right now would not be. We're definitely not making it through tier 5 here. That's okay. Needed about twice as much damage as we had.
I do think we could have made uh, one of the Paragon Monkeys if we wanted to go for that strat, but I don't think I will. Yeah, we need about double what we had there. I have a few ideas of how we can improve damage, but... That'll have to be for another time. Oh, interesting, Blue Link. That's a nice tidbit. There it is. I think we got that next attempt. We were almost exactly half when it reached the end. Alright, that was some good attempts. It was nice to do that. We'll probably take some more attempts at this uh, tomorrow. Uh, we are not done streaming, though. We're going to head into the Spelunky 2 Daily right now. Thank you all for the nice conversation there. Many of you communicated really nicely for balloons. Thanks for answering questions and discussing strategies in a respectful way. Wrong button. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be the Spelunky 2 Daily first look. Uh, Vast Tank, I've gotten to 7.99 on a daily. Uh, my second, um, second 7.99 was a daily run. Let's pick our character for today's daily, and we know that character is going to be Jay, my man, my daily dude. Yo, Bluster, thanks for 19 months during that uh, boss shenanigan. Do appreciate it. All right, this daily is going to come with a prediction as well. Uh, prediction question going to be very simple. Will this run make it to Cosmic Ocean or not? Nah? Going to give this one a 10-minute timer. If you'd like to wager some of your channel points, you can do so right now on the prediction right there. Oh, yeah, yesterday's daily had the bear trap. I forgot about that, uh, Victor. That is so very true. All right, before we kick off the daily, going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. I encourage you to do all those same things. We'll be back in just a very few short moments here to continue the fun. Please do enjoy this sleepy kitty during our short break. Get those wagers in. I'll be back in just about five to kick off the Spelunky 2 daily first look. See you in a moment.
Alrighty, we have returned. Let's see where the predictions at. About six and a half minutes left to get your um, predictions in. But where are we at, at this moment? A little over a million channel points in the pool. Awesome. 68% yes, 32% no currently. Good luck to all those that wager once again. Let's get this penguin in the hole and see how it goes. All right, rules for penguin in the hole. We land on this tile. Good job. Door tile. Eh. Over here, runs cursed. Here we go. Time to take that penguin. Put it in the hole. Nice. Corner pocket, Jay. Yo, during our short break, Tommy Mars, thanks for 48 months. Thank you. It's daily time. Huh, more bats. Right on then. Let's do this first. And make this? I should be able to. I can jump from here. I think this jump is also possible. Maybe not. This is a heist. Mm, okay. I'll bite. Uh, the whip's hitbox is his appearance. You see it goes up and behind the character at the start. So yes, the whip is slightly higher behind you. 17511, not bad, not bad. You know, I'm just gonna buy out the store here. Buying out the store gets us that big spender bonus later. Dude, your turkey's right really right outside the door. Did you even look for the turkey? I don't know if I'm returning it. I'm just going to be honest. You won't even look out your front door for your turkey. I don't know. Yeah, we're definitely not going to return the turkey now because this turkey's dead. And Yang does not appreciate dead turkeys. Weird, I know. A good spot to cook some burb. Oops. Or I cook this burb. tough. Let's go. We bought out the store and still have 21 too. Awesome. Yo, Storm. Thanks for 85 months, man. That was a little bit of a pickle. 
All right, there is the key area. There's the key. Wow, okay. Do something like this. Definitely making it back to that. Is there any reason for me to drop down over here? I think there's just a couple of hundo over there. Let's drop down on this side. That was not even a real dead guy. What a shame. Why aren't you dead, sir? Just looking. Oh, yeah, we didn't miss anything. Life is good. Hmm. I feel like this hasn't gone off yet. Yeah. A little worried about that. Sir, this is the exact same store I already purchased out earlier in the run. Already got that. Already got that. Already got that. Already bought the parachute. I don't need two parachutes. Same store. This guy. What a jokester. <laughs> you fell down. I can grab that. I mean, it sure looks to me like we're going jungy here because we got the cash bucks. Okay, that was not the one. Sounded rather squishy. I think I think he's done. I'll be back. for that jump. It's a doozy. Alright, over 40k. That's enough to buy a hat jeet right there. going to be a bat when we exit. Noted. Nice double kill. Darn, Kitty's going to stay here for a second. No, this is fine. I only got 30 seconds. I also cannot get to the other side with the push blocks. I think we're just going to grab the ghost turn and get out of here. Oh, man.
Well, let's go. Okay, Kalima. Whew. Some danger going on. You know, I, I see how I could do that, but at the same time... Let's not. Let's just keep doing it the way I always do it, and that way we'll know it'll work. hear you there. No pace right now? Okay, here we go. Perfect. This is two ropes, but two ropes I'm willing to spend. Gloves. Hell yeah, gloves. Huh. here it's such a good way to die it's gonna be fun though it's gonna be fun okay not dead is the first step to not being dead Juicy cup, get. I had to get all the bodies alive to the shrine, get cup on that level. Is the sister back there? It doesn't look like it. That looks like a secret entrance in the wall, though. What did you bring us, Penny? Tell me about it. You brought us the llama. Wow. Gonna be so full tonight, and then my cats brought me that llama. Nice. Okay, it's not here. Here's the bow. Looks good. Dude, this pick just keeps going. not sister. Ghoster and there's the sister. Okay, Ghoster and a bear trap. I think I'm just gonna leave that alone. I lost yesterday's daily to a bear trap. Excuse me, are you giant and a spider down there? Wham. Wham. Hold on to that, please.
giant and a spider and dead. Hmm. Not actually a thing. What's that? I'm good. Uh, I'm not too attached to the arrow. Let's just take the bow with us. Looking good. Okay, our black market's here. I see it below. You can see the outcropping on the rock. Sister's over there as well. Go get the sister. right there. All right, step one. Dropping this down there. Sorry, Scarab. Before we worry about anything out here, let's just get into the black market. Black market could have everything we could possibly want, so rest of the level is not all that important at the moment. Bo's top shelf. Not even a real dead guy. Okay. Guy's a jokester. Anything else? Gotta carry the bow, too. Sorry, Percy. Go check out back here again. That's a tough jump. Let's try from this side. Easier. Still don't have spike shoes. Okay. That's a realization. Helping hands can carry things for you, but their main job is to get placed on the sacrifice shrine. Okay, got the bow in hand. We got Hajit. Cool. Oh, I like ropes. That's a bear trap. Damsel is worth eight sacrifice points, which is the first item. A helping hand is worth six. That's also a bear trap. Is that it? Okay, that is it. I'm going to bomb right here.
Got to check it. Okay, nope. Still need gold, but don't need that much. So we're just gonna chill on the ghost urn and statue here. Okay. And we're off. I think we all know what time it is. Time for some Olmec in the hole. Put that bow down, let's go. Nope, no crates up there, fair enough. We could very easily do the phases of Olmec here. We're going to create one giant hole to drop him into. It's the way. I like doing this on jungle because you often have a huge amount of bombs. Just a fun little project. It is time. Get down in there, Olmec. Oh, yeah. Hoping for a decent money uh, ascent here. Not looking great for gambling at Madam Tuss at 14.8. That's right. You get 12 bombs from getting all three sisters, and then uh, it's exactly 12 bombs to create the giant hole for Olmec. That's... That's got to be... Um, Fate, right? Already looking great on the money going up here. Scarabs for days, for weeks. Beauty. We just made like almost 30,000 on the climb there. More than. Amazing. I don't need no stinking parachute. Hey, Liquid, thank you for 75 months of support. Three quarters century. My man. And we're off. Yep, that crate is always a parachute. That's right. That's right. I don't have spike shoes. I remember now. Okay. I almost got crushed.
here we go. Oh good, a second cake. That's the back equipment we wanted. Well, that ain't either. That's okay though. At least it's cleaner than my last cape. Yo, spike shoes. There's an item we don't have. Get back here, you giant crabman. Oh god, don't do that. Wow. That was a little awkward, huh? Alright, I'm gonna leave that fella alone. You have a nice day now, you hear? on 4-2, so we could go for a health here, or we could also go for uh, equipment. This guy's gonna give me a jetpack right now, just wait for it. He's ready. Okay, three bombs. Okay, hover pack is an equipment that can do the onk skip. Cool. drop down here. That's nice. Well, maybe not as nice as I think with that crab. Um... I drop my sword in the water. Down we go. Oh my god, no. No. That was so much HP. He's helping. Did we hear our damsel? I think we did. Not being sold there either? What the heck? here, maybe? Huh.
where's this damsel at? Here we go. What's going on over here? Is this going to be the area? Probably. Behind the vault would be tough. Not impossible, though. Calm down with that, dude. Nobody likes that. There it is. All right, let's clean this up. a side structure here. I'm really not seeing a good spot to do the two rope method. Oh, this kind of works. Yeah, I really just don't like the way this looks overall. I'm going to do this. Get out of here with those stinky crab bubbles. Oh man, it's happening. What's our urn gonna be today for the day? Let's find out right now. Cracked Onyx Eye. If you're doing the daily today, that'll also be your urn. Cracked Onyx Eye. I'm gonna go look below as well, see if there's any crates down here.
Well, it looks like a noper on crates. Fair enough. A lot of treasure potential spawns back here. Let's go. Oh, here's a question I don't have an answer to. Does hover pack, uh, hover time make the spike boots do more damage or no? Yeah, you can hover indefinitely with the hover pack, but it's only... Only horizontal movement. God, this is really busy down here. Okay. What? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, listen here, Parsley. Okay. There's no need for that kind of uh, attitude around here. I was just bombing the Yeti Queen to get some spike shoes and ropes and stuff. Matic, okay. You too, big boy. Oh, I missed. That one didn't. Juicy juice. All right, with hover pack here, I need to just climb all the way down the rope. So no jumping, hovering, or anything like that. I agree, Matic would have been nice here. Saw that coming. There's an orb thing right there, too. You know what? I'm gonna go down this way, then. Thanks. Thanks, UFOs, I think. Ah, disjointed elevators. Wow, some really spicy stuff, dude. Extreme spicy. Well, uh, we lived. <laughs> Hot dog, that was a floor. Okay, here's the urn area. I believe we have cracked onyx eye. Gonna check here, though. Cracked onyx eye is the one. Cracked black urn with an eye on it. There's the smiling eye. 
There's the tall eye. Huh. I'll go down here. Snake. There's cracked eye right there. I want to go back this way. I forget where my entrance was. The hell? There it is. Hey, that looks like a great bomb to me. This is not playing around. Hang out right here. That's glasses. I don't have glasses yet. All right, what what is this though? I think we're supposed to go. I mean, the store entrance should be on the correct side, but Madams is over here, and something's amiss. Um. Wow. Chilin's safe right here. Hmm. Definitely some things going on. Okay, I made some good choices. That was a spicy Babs right there. And we're off. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. I'm going to take off my back equipment real quick. Uh, in fact, I'm going to replace it with yellow cape here momentarily. I like hover pack, but yellow cape is going to be more consistent.
All right, yellow cape time. Now we're going to find out where Waddler's at. We'll be around. This is not even the right way, is it? Nope. Oh, right, it stuns you. I remember now. Never do that. There's my man, Waddles. All right, we got time for the statue. I mean, that is most certainly a secret area. Let's check it out. We know it's not going to be a ton shop, though. The ton was outside. Ah, uh, yes. And we're off. Okay. Not a big fan of what's happening there. We can just give this some time to sort itself out. Hmm. Alright, you know what? I'm going to nope out of this. Is this the right way? This is not the right way. This looks better. Dying frog up here, maybe? Nah. What a level. All right, one more. Got to fight uh, Hundun here. Here we go. Uh oh. Walk through that frog, sir. There's no time. Looking for uh, sticky stuff and arrow traps like that one. How's it going down there? We went jungle, Lee Burns. Oh snap, I broke my platform. Oh, 
Oh. One more. All right, we did it. We made it all the way to the cosmic ocean. Gonna choose this prediction right now. Congratulations, believers. All right, here we are. So it's gonna be a little bit different with Yellow Cape. I'm gonna be focusing a lot on falling down instead of climbing up. Also gonna be leaving orbs for last. Like that one right there is right next to the exit, so that's a good one to know. All right, there's that. Okay, that was one. It's two. I'm going to put a wager out now if we'll make it to 733 or not. And I'm just going to say that with Yellow Cape, it's a stretch. But uh, Yellow Cape 799 is definitely on my to-do list. That prediction has just started. Uh, while that goes through, it's going to take a very short break after that daily run, making it to Cosmic Ocean before we actually kick off the ocean. I'll be back in just a moment as... Always no ads during any break. During the show, just do one at the very end. And please do enjoy this Sleepy Kitty, the Cosmic Ocean tunes, and we'll return momentarily to uh, entrench ourselves in Cosmic Ocean. Be back soon.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. One minute remaining to get your prediction in. I'm gonna see what we got here. Oh boy, almost another million points back into the pool. A lot more believers than I would expect for 733. I was putting some faith in a yellow cape run here. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get some fortunate levels. Uh, I don't know. Alright, this will make a good last orb. Very nice. That would have made a good last orb. Thanks for helping me pop that, JG. Tiny crabs for everybody. Get out of here with that. Oop. Okay, but I just got one question. Why so many cramps? Explain. Alright, there's that. You know what? I'm going for this. I, there's something about this level. It seems a little haunted. Yeah, I'm telling you. Something about that level. Let's get out of here. Okay, that's bottom left corner. I'm going to just make a note of that. Actually, one of the only ways you could enter this cavern is if you had a shield like that without using an explosive. That was cool. Grab this one. We're going to find our exit now. Right there. Okay. Okay. That's a very nice last orb. Want to fall down instead of climb up? All right, then. Need to put you down for a moment, shield. Just going to wait here. No, no sense in bungling this over a little impatience. God, this is terrifying. Okay, there's two. Okay, there's the, that's the last orb and the exits right there. What does the other side look like? Don't want to crush that crate. Yeah, okay. Back into your pit. Thank you. Dropping down. It's always my instinct to start climbing upward, but when you have yellow cape, it's much faster to fall than to climb. I shouldn't have done that. That could have been a bomb inside that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna leave this rock right here, and that's gonna be our final orb. It's gonna set it up right now. Be back in a moment. This 
is where we entered. Okay, I saw orb up there. Okay, they're falling out now. Oh my god. One. Here's two. And we know where three is because we set it up our just earlier. Here we go. Yo, Narcotics, thanks for 35 months. And Lagbot, thanks for 68. Much appreciation. Here is the exit. You know, I can jump over that guy. It's just... It doesn't feel good. We know the jelly is on the left-hand side there. Interesting. Thought I'd win the, the squish there. Okay, 40 seconds. Not bad. Where are these orbs at, though? Huh. Okay, I saw nothing on that pass. I see two orbs now. That was one. Very weird map. Okay, we saw that. What haven't I seen right now? I haven't seen this area because the bat wasn't active. There, okay. Dude, my brain told me, hey, there's a there's a crab in that crate. Can't happen here, but good looking out, brain. Good looking out. I mean, I want that crate, but I don't want to touch that witch doctor. One. This could be a good last orb. Right on a vine, too. Uh oh. Well, that was unintended. Here's to hoping he lands somewhere real cool. Which doctor's on the next one over here? There he is. Gonna do that. Need to get back down this right side. Alright, I'm putting the shield down. It's been fun, but... Okay, there's still a man trap in the... Oh, in there. There's also a skull falling now, too. Okay, got the skull. That feller, though, will eat us if we pass through him. That's a, that's a fact. Bit of a gamble going in between now with that falling. Okay, 
Here's the exit. Nice. What have I done? Not going back through the middle. Okay, okay. How about some nice, small, easy levels game? Surely this Neo Bab's gonna be um, what everybody would consider easy. No weird cheesy lava stuff, like really low elevator. Maybe only one or two of those electrical orb things. That's gonna happen. Double dead. Okay, we fell down the entire side here. One. Hmm. You guys are in trouble. I saved that guy's life by killing him. Ah, oh, fudge. Okay, there's the remaining two orbs. Holy guacamole right now. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. This. Unreal, dude. Watch out for that elevator. All right, this is our first sunken temple. Goodbye, water. Poison arrows are the main concern here. Oh, not the only concern. Okay, why am I climbing upward? I think this was the fly we just saw. Well, maybe not. Okay, that's where we were. That one's already fired. This one's four deep. Okay, there's the exit. Arrow trap by the exit. That's a really cool last orb. Uh, putting this urn here to remind myself the exit's right there. Okay, it's certainly not gone off yet. Hmm. Ooh, that didn't feel right. Just gonna let that one go. Up, Temple. 
Another spoopy cat. Well, I don't really want to go over there. All right, that's certainly a thing. There's an orb. I see more poison spit. Okay. All three orbs here. Awesome. Huh. Just make sure that's not looping forever or something. Cool. Yo, congrats, Archangel. Nice one. I think I'm going to give that another go tomorrow. It was a, a fun challenge on balloons today. All right, top left is a really good spot to have... An orb B. Just gonna leave that there. Never an inconvenience to get back to the top of the map. Just gotta find an edge or a bottom. Okay, there's one. Hmm. That is like spicy. Is extremely cavernous. Wow. Yeah, let's drop down here then. Calm down, son. You saw this. Already been over here. Where is this last orb at? Okay, I went through that nonsense too. A lot of chain down here. There it is. Hey, small Blanche, thanks for 25 months. Appreciate that quarter century. Thank you. Looks like we're using a bomb to get out of here. Okay, I see this orb. I also saw the orb uh, the other side here. Maybe I bomb this? Really hope there's no cheesy drip associated with that. There's not... I was going to give up on that for the moment. Uh, I did see the other orb, didn't I? It's like... There. Alright, I'm using a bomb. Okay.
Whew. All right, we got easy top right jelly here. Love it. There's one. That's close. There's two. Giant crab man down there. Giant crab man right here. Don't poison bubbly me, sir. Don't do it. Okay. Ooh. They're definitely giving me some levels. That was the easiest level in a while. Oh, good. Back to the jungie. We live down there. See the exit. I don't know where we're orientated from left to right, though. All right. Ow. Now, which doctor right below isn't ideal? Um, I'm going to throw a rope right here just to mark where it is. I have a feeling this is some sort of monstrosity. to my noggin. Alright, right back where this thing kicked off, huh? And we know that's the top. Or the top-ish one tile down from. So it really leaves back in here for the orb. Not even really a way in there. Oh man, this is dead end too? Oh boy. Where is this thing? Oh no, I think I'm dead. Dead. Okay, we're still in it. Do need to find where this last orb is though. We've got about a minute left. Guess it has to be down here. There it is. I'm gonna grab Boomerang now. Boomerang's good for getting some blood. Okay, I think I saw the exit right below. did. Yeah, you have to fall for long enough to wake up when you're falling. It's, uh, it's quite a while. You have to be falling at a very particular angle. Okay, we're dropping down. One. Okay, there's the exit. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's a problem, isn't it? Figure out how we're actually getting to the exit now. Okay. That's it. Nope. 
That's it. GG. Uh, we didn't quite make it to 733. Good yellow cape practice, though. I was able to play around a little bit there. Fun run. Very difficult uh, Neo Seed, especially. Well, there you have it for now. We're number one. Certainly won't be when it's all said and done. Still about another uh, thousand or more players to attempt the daily. If I could do it the same, I'd do it again. I get to use Hover Pack and Yellow Cape a lot that run. Well, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for the great time. Wonderful company and awesome conversation for today's stream. Had a great time playing FTL Slug B, playing Bloons TD6, and Spelunky 2 Daily. Uh, thanks for making it a great one. As a reminder, you're going to run three minutes worth of ads here on the way out. The only ads I play for my entire broadcast. Just thanks so much for sharing this time and place. Uh, enjoy the sleepy gyms on the way out as well. Appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, have a great one. See you tomorrow around noon Pacific to do it up again. Take her easy.